Gamble's home season for the Arrows, and Troy Gamble put on a stellar performance. He turned back 35 of 37 shots, forcing the Arrows' first overtime of the season. In the shootout, Gamble stopped shots from all angles, setting up the opportunity for the win. Bram Townsend sent the crowd home happy as he beat Derek Wilkinson on this shot, and the Arrows had their first victory of the season. Nine days later, the Knights were back, but problems with the ice prevented the rematch, and so one month later, they square off again from the summit on HSE. Summit in Houston, Texas. Home Sports Entertainment and the Houston Arrows present International Hockey League action tonight. The Houston Arrows host the defending Turner Cup champion Atlanta Knights. A very pleasant good evening, everybody, and welcome to the summit for tonight's game between the Atlanta Knights and the Houston Arrows. And what a game we have for you. Yes, we have ice. We've got a couple of teams ready to go, and it is time to rock and roll. And joining me, Barry Warner and Bear, I'll tell you, the Arrows will have their hands full. They've dropped three in a row right now, and they've got to work on Stan Julia, the leading scorer for this Atlanta Knight hockey team. Number 20, the kid from Elmira, New York, just a terrific, terrific player. He's got such a great knack for anticipating the play. Very, very quick hands. He's got a quick shot and knows how to work that puck right past the goal tent. You know, you look at the Houston Arrows all year, it's been Scott Arneal and, and uh, Murray Eves has helped out, Mark Freer, of course, but now they've got a guy that seems like he can help out offensively in Lenny Hackboard. Number 15, the former NHL player, has got very quick legs. Uh, he's 33 years young on the depth chart, that's what it says, but he skates like he's 23. You'll see him tonight moving up and down the summit ice. He's got a lot of speed and a lot of talent up front. He'll be playing with Dave Tippett. Let's take a look at tonight's Oshman's game plan brought to you by Oshman Super Sports USA. You know, the Arrows have only scored the first goal twice all year. They need a better start. They're home. They're rested. Atlanta, meanwhile, coached by John Paris on a long road trip. You got to get out right away and light up the lamp. They've got to stop Julia and Jason Ruff, and it looks like half of that has already been accomplished. Jason Ruff is not dressing. He's got the flu. And this Arrow team has got to be physical. And I'm not talking just to the blue line. They've got to put the guys in the black jerseys right up against the Summit Dashers. Barry, I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be a wild hockey game. The Arrows and the Atlanta Knights we will have that next. But when we return, we'll throw it back to HSC for a sports update. Houston Arrows Hockey on HSC is brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Flying the low fare airline is just plain smart. By Columbia HCA Healthcare Corporation, a new commitment to healthcare together. And by Gatorade Thirst Quencher. When you're thirsty, it's got to be Gatorade. the summit in Houston, Adam Gordon along with Barry Warner and we're getting set for the Arrows and the Atlanta Knights. Let's take a look at the starting lineups first for the visiting Atlanta Knights. In goal it'll be Derek Wilkinson. Starting on defense, Eric Dubois and Corey Cross at center, Colin Miller. At left wing, Stan Drulia and at right wing, Peter Ferraro. And Derek Wilkinson, as we said, he will get the start, and uh, he's got a goals against average uh, pretty good in there at 2.87. For the Arrows, taking a look at their starting lineups tonight. It, defensively, they will go with Kevin Grant and Chris Foy. At center, Len Hackborn. Left wing, Dave Tippett. And at right wing, Mario Cittaroni. And in goal, Troy Gamble, who comes into tonight's hockey game with a record of 3-5-1 and, and a 3.94 goals against average. We dropped the puck, and we're underway. Glad to have you with us here as the arrows dump the puck into the Atlanta zone. Corey Cross goes back to gather in behind his net. We're going to get a penalty right at the start of the hockey game here. It's coming to the arrows. A delayed call. Puck back into Houston territory. Gamble back to retrieve. He touches and we'll get our first penalty coming up. It'll be a power play for Atlanta. A slashing call. And the arrows will be short-handed. We're only 14 seconds into this hockey game and we talked about the better start Barry and I don't know if this is the better start that they want. Not the kind of start that they want with Kevin Grant going off for two minutes right now. Uh, on this particular situation you get tested tested right away it's important for Troy Gamble to come up with a big save right here and it's equally as important for them to clear the rebound and to get it out uh, 
Atlanta Knights, their power play, sixth in the league at 23.2 percent. Top of the puck, we're underway. Colin Miller now, right point, worked it down. Julia, right side, trying to cut it in. Quick snapshot, stick, save, gamble. Puck came out in front. Gamble got a right pad on that, and it's turned around by Dave Tippett. He'll shoot the puck down the ice. 145 left in the Grand Minor. Wilkinson out of the net. He'll drop it back for Colin Miller. The Knights will move it from left to right. Colin Miller on the power play, hands the puck to Julia. He'll run it up the right wing boards through the neutral zone. Hits the line. Julia cuts to the left now. Julia pulls up. Run into by Malamont. Puck now controlled. Here's a chance for Arlson and Miller shooting. Oh, Gamble got a shoulder on that. Oh, boy. Great save there. Now the puck back to the line. It's sent by Derek Mayer now. And that is shot back down the ice. Mayer pushed it down. And it was popped away by the arrows. And Mayer goes back in behind the net with a minute gone by in the first in a scoreless hockey game. And here comes Derek Mayer with a puck in behind the net. He'll carry it up the gut to center. Watch by Chitter one of the arrows. Left side, Chris Ferraro dropped it back. It's controlled along the left wing boards by Aaron Davey. But it's tipped away by the arrows. They got a chance for an end. Maurice cutting right in, shoots, rip the wrist, shot wide of the net, the rebound is picked up by the Atlanta Knights. Here is Eric Dubois, he'll send the puck out to Gaby, left side, center ice, Chris Ferrero, through the neutral zone, brings the puck in, watched by Arneal, but he'll spank it into Arrow territory, and the puck takes a hop and it goes up and out of play. Half a minute to go on the Kevin Grant minor in a scoreless hockey game. Arrows have killed 80 out of 90 uh, penalties during the course of this year, but we said right from the start it was important on that power play for Gamble to come up the big save and for the Arrows to clear the puck out of the net, not getting a cheap rebound, and that's exactly what they did. Excellent uh, penalty killing thus far. Stan Julia, we talked about in the open, lets the shot go. There's the kick save, and the arrows clear the puck. Campbell got lucky on that second rebound. I don't know if he exactly knew where it was. It was more of an instinctive save, getting that right pad out there. Face off center ice. Greer and Arneal now for the arrows. Defensively, the uh, Houston arrows will line up with Foy and Valamont. Puck controlled by Houston. Send it out to center ice. Now picked up by Drew Bannister. Shoved it back into his own zone. It's controlled Torrey Cross. Along the fireboards, all six foot six of them trying to bang one out the center. Knocked down by Fear. Takes a shot above the head there, and then Arneal comes firing in with an elbow. The referee, Rob Martell, says, play on. All right, we do. Here is Cross now, back in his own zone. He'll shovel one out to center ice for Peter, Peter Ferraro. Lead pass, Drulia brings the puck in over the blue line. Here is Stan Drulia, cuts it over for Bannister. It was tipped away by Freer, but the, the Atlanta Knights have got it. Peter Ferraro shoved it back in behind the net. Here's a chance, it's controlled. Yves Aero sends it along the boards. Peter Ferraro sends it back to the line. Bannister, long shot through, traffic goes wide of the net. Kevin Grant spikes it to the line. That'll go down the ice, his teams are at five aside. This will be an icing call as the Knights go back to touch. That play is whistled down with two and a half gone in the first and no score. We talked about the quick start. The Arrows got it not the way they wanted. They had to uh, kill the penalty, which they did. They cleared the puck in a very precise fashion. Chitteroni playing the right wing did an excellent job of crossing dashes on the far side. Face off will be in the circle to the right side of Troy Gamble, and the Arrows will bring out Mike Maurice, Mike Yo. And Jerry St. Cyr, this was a line that uh, in the first San Diego game, Terry Ruskowski, the head coach of the Arrows, said was the best line out there. Worked really hard, and they're back intact here. Here's Alan Eglin now to center the line. He's out there with Brent Gretzky, who's making his first appearance against the Arrows in Houston. And Christian Campbell with a drive right on by Mayer. And a great save by Campbell as he got down. He got a pat on that. Now Maurice for the Arrows, trying to get it back to the line. Mayer held it in right point. Now Derek Mayer turns along the board, trying to cut it, worked away by Rob Rob. And arrows gather in the puck, but they overskate it and they clear it. They'll try, and here is Mike Maurice. He's got it to center ice. Pretty good start to this hockey game from the physical aspect. Now here's St. Cyr trying to shake off the check, and he was drilled off the puck by Allen Peterson, and play goes on. Crowd wants a penalty, won't get it. Now Campo, fireside. Can't clear the zone. It's worked down by Maurice, covered up by Wilkinson, and he will hold on with three minutes gone in the first, and no score. I saw something that I haven't seen this year, but you saw him last year, and that's St. Cyr, who was an excellent scorer in the Western League, coming it was a nice move there. He put the move on, came across, and uh, put the puck between the defenseman's legs. I see. Actually, this game boasts maybe two of the better players that ever played in the Western Hockey League. And Jerry St. Cyr for the Arrows and Alan Eglin for the Atlanta Knights, who slowly getting a little more ice time, Alan Eglin is. He's a very hard-working kind of guy, but right now, just a, a young guy at 21 years of age. And uh, and uh, John Ferris Jr., the head coach of the Knights, just breaking him in slowly. Of course, a third-round pick of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Drop of the puck. No score in the hockey game. It's in Houston, or check that Atlanta Knight territory. Corey Cross getting out to center ice. Shoots the puck into the Atlanta, or into the, 
Houston's own. Grant goes back to touch. I see the call. We'll get it straightened out here. Let's take a timeout. We're scoreless from the summit. We'll be back after this on the Arrows Broadcasting Network. It's time for friends to fly free on Southwest Airlines. Wake up and smell the coffee. And people are friendlier than ever. Just make reservations at least a day in advance and buy your round trip ticket at Southwest's regular low unrestricted fare and a friend flies with you free anywhere we fly. Joe, Dad, what do you think? Friends fly free on Southwest, the low fare airline. The star of the Greater Houston RV Show is the Ron Hoover RV Center. The show's over, but the sale continues at our I-45 location. Dozens of motorhomes, fifth wheels, travel trailers delivered from our four Texas locations to the Ron Hoover RV Center on I-45. The same low show prices and on-the-spot financing. Drive the Swinger Motorhome or the stylish new Cruise Master from the Georgie Boy Collection. Buy this week only and get a free trip to Branson, Missouri and save up to $20,000. It's the biggest RV sale in Texas at the Ron Hoover RV Center on I-45. Adam Gordon, Barry Warner back inside the Summit in Houston. A scoreless hockey game, 16.46 to play. And John Paris Jr., the head coach who came in midseason for Gene Ubriaco, who started last year as the head coach and got him the Turner Cup. And he's got his team playing well this year. He'll be in the NHL in the next year or two. Drop of the puck and the Atlanta Knights have got it. Run out the near side in their own zone by Julia. Tipped it to the line. And now Colin Miller comes to center ice for the Atlanta Knights. Shoots the puck into Arrow territory. Gamble takes a chance coming out of the net. And he'll hand it over to Kevin Grant had the puck, the puck picked from behind. Now the arrows trying to get it out of there. Chitteroni rumbles it along the near side, tip it on his horse, trying to go. He was checked by Dubois. Now picked up the arrows at its center, but now it is Kevin Grant up the right side. Center right, Len Hackford turns it up for Tippett. Nice pass across the line. Tippett shooting, and that was blocked as that hit a leg. Chitteroni had tried hit a leg. I think that may have caught Tippett in the skate and went wide of the net. Now on the fireboards, back to the line. Kevin Grant, long shot block. Picked up Chitteroni, but he lost an edge. Crashed and burned it. Center, and the puck is back to the Arrow Blue Line. Here is Robinson at center for the Arrows. Drills the puck into Atlanta Knight territory. Wilkinson out of the net. Can't slow. Cross trying to clear it for the Knights. Can't do it. Aaron gave it back in behind. Though on the fireboards. He's bumped by Arneal, who's come out and thrown his body pretty good here. Now it's Mark Freer worked over by Dubois to Arneal in behind the net. Trying to center it with a bouncing puck. Now it's Graham Townsend behind the cage. Looks out in front. Comes out to the far side. Can't get the shot away. Now turns. Shoots. With the bullet wide of the net. And it comes out the center ice for Chris Ferraro, and he's out to neutral. Trying to weave it ahead. Here is a puck brought in by Toms along the left side. It's Jeff Toms. Centered one. It was blocked by Gamble, and the arrows come away. Jakes stick handles along the boards. Cleared it out the center ice and back into the Atlanta Knight territory. Here is Brian Straub. Get it out the center for Davey. Give it to Chris Ferraro. That's broken up by Robinson, and it's cleared to center. Great start to this hockey game. Knights bring the puck in, and they're offsides. We've seen everything here. Some good end-to-end -end action, and we've seen some good, rough physical play, but it's been good physical, not the, the, the kind of cheap stuff. And there's one thing we haven't seen that has been a trademark of the Arrows, and that's been pinching as far as the defensemen are concerned. The Arrows are not going to take any chances at all. They're tired of the two-on-one breakaways that want to play conservative at the blue line. You know, we've already seen Lenny Hackborn and Dave Tippett almost get a scoring chance, and Dave Tippett came to me before the game. He says, hey, Adam, do me a favor and say hello to Don and Bonnie Storing. They're at the triple play in Kent, Minnesota. And uh, so I, I got to meet these people uh, in Minnesota when they came down to see Mr. Tippett, and I'd like to say hello as well. I hope you're enjoying a good hockey game. And the arrows in the Atlanta Knights. No score in the hockey game. Puck shot into the night zone. Takes a weird off off the glass. Goes to the far side. Here is Jerry Saints here. Right wing boards. Cuts to the base of the circle. Eglin works him over. Then the arrows get their signals crossed. They run into each other. And here comes Eves and Rowe to center. The row down the right side. Blast the puck in. It's picked up by Campo. Can't center it. He's worked over by Steve Goslin. There skate the skate in the corner. Now Eglin in there trying to work it free. Puck loose and skates. Fished out of there by uh, Eves and Rowe. He's pinned along the boards by Valamont. They continue to grind it out along the wall. Still going at it. Goslin's got his man tied up, and we finally get a whistle and play halted. 14-29 to go in the first. No score. I gotta tell you, I'm really impressed by Frenchie. Goslin is a small kid. He's 5'9", about 165 pounds, but he would not give an inch. And he used the stick in a legal fashion to help pin the guy in the back jersey right up against the dasher. Steve Goslin had his best game as an arrow in Phoenix, a goal and an assist, and was one of the main guys that, uh, that, that brought the arrows back. 
the captain, Curtis Hunt, uh, with a separated shoulder, helping Terry Ruskowski behind the dasher. And he is just dying to put the sweat around and get out there and skate again. I asked him if he was actually setting up defensive pairings for uh, Terry Ruskowski. He said, no, Terry's still calling the defensive signal. I'm more there for just moral support and kind of getting involved in the game. And when your team captain's out there, that means a lot. He's been doing that now for the last three games. Puck back in the Atlanta zone, 14-19 to play in the first. No score, but a great start to this game. Here's Steve Gaslin, right side for the Houston Arrows. Shoots the puck into Atlanta territory. Wilkinson out of the net for the Knights. And they'll pick up the puck and away they'll come. Brian Straub gets one out to the right side for Derek Mayer down the right side. Mayer across the line. Looks for Gaby. Instead lets the shot go. Gamble shoulder save. And here is Mike Maurice. Maurice for the arrow. Lobs one ahead. Can't clear it. But a second ever finally swung out to center ice by Jerry St. Cyr. Now we're going to get a whistle. We're going to get a penalty. It's Derek Mayer and St. Cyr. Now St. Cyr's got to keep his cool here. He's got the job done with the penalty to Mayer. And Mayer's going to go off. Mayer was trying to get into it with a new arrow defenseman Kevin Grant and Grant didn't fight for it as he rode him into the boards he tried getting the temperamental one uh, Jerry St. Cyr because St. Cyr loves to drop the gloves as the arrows now go on the power play Mayer coming down along the near board so Gamble had to come in there. And, you know, the arrow power play is seventh in the league at 22.8%. Atlanta's a penalty killing. Uh, struggling a little bit. How about it's 16th overall out of... Uh out of 17 teams, actually we can say 18 now if you want to include the Soviet wings, but the 16th overall at 73.8%. So the Arrows, if they can get it going, they got a chance to test this penalty killing unit as a puck spanked by Corey Cross up and out of play, and they'll face it off, uh, I believe, inside Atlanta territory. Terry Ruskowski is going to play a conservative. We've seen the last couple of games we've done the Arrows using the umbrella. They're not going to do that right now. They're going to try to see what kind of reads the penalty killing unit from Atlanta will do before Terry decides which way he's going to go. Hackborn tip Chitteroni with Grant and McKee face off about five feet inside the blue line and now Chitteroni jousting a pretty good battle with Dubois the puck clear to the line and not out very physical and chippy start to this hockey game gotta like it though now it's center here is Brian McKee he'll run the puck into the Atlanta zone far side picked up by Tippett he tries to dig it out he's bumped by Julius stays with the puck base of the right circle Tippett back to the line give it to McKee dances toward the slot sends it down here's a chance now for Len Hackboard back top of the slot McKee winds now shoots whistle it wide rebound out in front but there was Colin Miller for the Knights and he'll shoot it down the ice arrows look good moving it around but the arrows now back in their own zone with 124 remaining in their power play no score in the hockey game 13 10 to go in the first Hack one across the line he's bumped along the wards gets back up shoves with cross now it is Dave Tippett base in the right circle pulls up looks for the pass he's pinned by cross but the arrows have got it and here's a pass McKee top of the slot the drive score that puck and try to keep it low hope for a deflection and McKee who's got an excellent shot this Brian McKee who's got the goal here great shot here for gets, McKee. gets the pass now he if the pass is extended on him he made certain he gathered the puck in and then let it rip as the puck comes Money Hackborn you saw how he had to gather it and then this screen there's one two arrows screening Wilkinson. Third goal of the year for McKee. Pocket center ice and the Arrows lead it by a score of one and nothing. Now back in Atlanta night territory. Here's Bannister run into by Arneal. Puck center. Arneal trying to get a stick on it and he's roughed up in there by Bannister and the Knights come to center right side. Gaby cross the line. Gaby shooting. Center ice for Arrow, rolls it into the Arrow zone, out of the net gamble, and hands it over to Steve Jakes. Dangerous pass in front, but the Arrow's Robinson, he's bumped off the puck, Arneal now gets it out the center, and the Knights back to their own blue line. You know, the Arrows coming into this hockey game are only three points back of the Knights, so a win here could put them one back. So the Arrow's looking to build on the one nothing lead. Pocket in Arrow territory, out of the net, Troy Gamble, and here comes Robinson in behind the net. It will be watched by Eglin to the Knights, it comes to center, and it's picked up by the uh, Atlanta Knights. Eve Zero sends it back to his own blue line. Here is Eglin across the line. Goes right in on goal. Eglin backhander. Gamble. Great save. Rebound. It's loose in behind the net. Oh, Gamble caught another one there. And now the puck in 
behind. Here is Steve Jakes along the boards now. Jakes up the right side. Get it out to center ice for Robbie Robinson. Pass left wing for Maurice. Tipped it into the Atlanta night zone. Out of the net, it's uh, Wilkinson. Worked it along the boards. Here's Eglin to center. Charging down the right side. In across the line. Eglin trying to make the move around. Foy, base the right circle. Centered it. The puck was tipped away. Here's Mike Yo in a battle. It's worked away by Brian Strom of the Knights behind. Eglin center the pass. Flavor of Mexico sizzles. Baseball is back. The major's top prospects strut their stuff, swinging for the pros, wanting to play ball in the Avis Arizona Fall League. Peoria and Scottsdale, Wednesday night at 9.30 on HSE. It's time to jam. Can you dig it? It's a war out west. Napoleon is watching his Husky troops while the Cougars deploy their deadly defense. Washington and Washington State. Saturday at 5.30 Central, live on HSE. Troy Gamble. Tell me he doesn't want this game. And boy, what a play Alan Eglin made earlier. What a great shift. E Eglin, the guy from uh, the Western Hockey League with a backhander. And Troy goes down, rot is written, and watches as he gets ridden off the puck by Robinson. There's the backhander, and Robbie helps ride him off after he trips over Gamble. Eglin's a guy that, as a 16-year-old, started in Lethbridge, and they didn't even want him. Here's a quick drive off the point. It's blocked. Tippett got it back for the Arrows, and it's Corey Crossan behind the net. Yeah, Eglin was never wanted by Lethbridge, and he was picked up by Tacoma in the expansion draft and was a 100-point guy two of the three years he was there. Here's Colin Miller now. Shoots the puck up the left side, blocked by the Arrows, and they're doing a fine job of standing the Knights up right at the blue line, something Terry Ruskowski was wanted all year. Now the puck along the near side. Tippett trying to get it out of there for the Arrows. It's jumped on by Hackborn. He's off to center ice. Crosses the line with Chitteroni. Hackborn into the slot. Nice stick handling. Dipsy Doodles sends one. Chitteroni the drive in that one. He's chipped up over the glass and out of play. Mr. Hackborn, please. We're going to talk to oh. Lenny Hackborn. We're going to talk to Lenny Hackborn between the first and the second period. And this is about the third time again with an excellent veteran NHL move. He's playing on that line with Chitteroni and with Tippett. And it's like these guys have played together since the start of training camp. And that's what the experience of professionalism is all about. That guy was dangling like a pair of fuzzy dice from the rearview mirror. Ooh. Now the puck will be faced off in the circle to the right side of Derek Wilkinson. Hackborn, Tippett, Chitteroni with Foy and Grant. And he's Hackborn trying to win the draw, won't do it. The Knights have got it. Trailing one nothing, ten and a half to go here in the first. Puck taken away by Hackborn. Oh boy, is he going to make a difference, Barry? Here is Eric Dubois now at center right side. Shoots the puck into the arrow zone. Out of the net, Troy Gamble. He'll leave it for Grant. Here's Grant behind the twine. To the fireside. side, Chitteroni bumped off the puck, but the arrows come to center. Three on three. Here is Hackborn. Gives it to tip it across the line. Looks up for Foy. Here's a centering pass. Foy can't redirect through Dubois. Now the puck is taken by the Knights. Corey Cross out to center. Here comes Jeff Toms, trying to work it through Grant at the blue line. Grant takes the puck away, and here comes Freer across the line. Freer takes the move. He's bumped off the puck, and Derek Bear goes back. 9.53 to go in the first, and a 1-0 hockey game on Brian McKee's third goal of the year on the power play. Now to center. Here is Freer. He's run off the puck. Arneal jumps on it with Townsend. Here is Arneal. Sends Townsend right in. Shoots. Oh, great save by Wilkinson. Got the web of the glove on it. Now on the far boards. Here is Arneal again. Center that puck, and it's picked up by Ferraro. This is some incredible jump tonight for the Arrows. Exactly what they're looking for. Tom's now the other way for the night. He's dumped like a bad trash bag out at center, and here come the Houston Arrows. It's Mark Freer. Gives the puck to Valamon across the line. Shakes off one check. Pulls up and runs it along the boards. Now on the far side. Here is Townsend. Bumped by Tom. It comes to the line, but Jake's been holding in. He's got to get into his horse and ride to town to pick up the puck in his own blue line. Checked by a row. Now back along the boards. The arrows have got it. Here is Arneal at center. Lead pass Townsend. He'll shoot it into Atlanta night territory. A 1-0 hockey game under nine minutes to go in the first. Arrows with the lead. 
Here is Yves Arrow, takes his shoulder from Yo, but Eglin comes to center. Alan Eglin across the line, trying to move around Robinson. He does shoot. He scores. Oh, what a goal. Alan Eglin, and it's a 1 1 hockey game. It was only a matter of time. Only a matter of time before Alan Eglin, who came away on two breakaways and got stopped on that last backhander, lit it up. You know, Rob Robinson, I don't think he totally estimated how much speed Eglin had. That is twice now he's gone around the D. It's not just the speed, it's the separation. As he gets the puck, goes around Robinson, tries to control it. Robinson does not swivel and look for him. That's a cardinal mistake on the part of Robinson. And as Eglin goes down, that's the impressive part of the goal. One, the way he gets around it is we see the move. You do not see the swivel head, which Robinson should have. Turn the wrong way. Now he's going down and puts the puck by Troy Gamble. It's his first career IHL goal. Here's a quick drive by Goslin right across the line and a left pad save by Wilkinson. Now Bannister in behind the net. 8.33 to go in the first. We're knotted at one and here comes Bannister from left to right for the Knights. Popped it out the center. Uh, it's now Brent Gretzky who lets it roll into the zone. Eves Arrow got by the D with his shot. Gamble save. Rebound tossed wide by Eglin. Bannister trying to turn. It's looped along the boards and it comes out the center. Boy, both teams just going full throttle right now. Here is a puck now. In Atlanta night territory, Drew Bannister get it to Eve Zero. Can't clear. And finally, Alan Peterson will. That went off Gretzky. And it's Mike Maurice. Shoots the puck into the Atlanta zone. Out of the net, Wilkinson, as the arrows make a line change. We've got 7.55 to go in the first. We're tied at one. Bannister in his own zone for the Knights. Pass given away to Lenny Hackworth. Turns it center. Popped away by Trulia. Jake's jammed it ahead. Now Tippett trying to spank one in there, but that is taken by Miller. And it popped away by Hackworth, but play whistled down. And they're offside. Let's take a break. 7.42 to go in the first. Tied at one on the Houston Arrows Broadcasting Network. Some players set records. Others will break them. Doubles and triples down the line or into the stands. The hits just keep on coming. Jeff Bagwell, this is Star Power. Astros baseball, Star Power. The Astros salute first baseman Jeff Bagwell, the 1994 National League Most Valuable Player. soft drinks and 50 cent beers and plenty of winning to go around for everyone so think thursday and be here the place to play so great house park yeah. welcome back to the summit in houston along with barry warner adam gordon with you and a 1-1 hockey game and you know we talked about this in the pregame we've expected all this excitement stan drulia who wasn't involved in that goal but you know, the Arrows haven't had to worry about him. He's one of the leading scorers in this league. Kevin Brown and uh, Yannick Perot from, uh, from Phoenix. And then Atlanta, Atlanta, and Snell once again. Ruff and Julia, but tonight it's Eglin, and you know that Julia is going to be doing something. Puck back in the Atlanta night zone, and it's worked along the boards. Julia gets it to Miller. And now it is crossed. I can see how you could get to Kevin Brown confused with Rob Brown because they're both outstanding hockey players. Kevin Brown could easily be up there as well. Here is Carl Valamont now back at his own blue line. Getting out the center ice for Dave Tippett. And now it's back into Atlanta Knight territory. Out of the net, Wilkinson. Here's a puck picked up. Hackborn worked it back to the line. Blocked by Drulia. Dr Dubois now in the corner. Gets it along for Drulia from Dubois. He'll come to center. And off to the races, Stan Drulia hits the line. Hooked by Malamont. Keeps the feet moving, though. Puck comes out in front. And it goes to the far corner. Here's Kevin Grant, wrapped up by Miller. Chitteroni now along the boards. He'll send one out to center ice with under seven minutes to go in the first in a 1-1 hockey game. Puck back in the Atlanta Knight territory. Here is Corey Cross on defense for the Knights. Center ice, Peter Ferraro drills the puck, and that was blocked, and Townsend's there to reject it. At center, here's Derek Mayer at his own blue line. Pass for Ferraro, rolled it into Arrow territory. Jake's trying to jam it along. He was run into by Chris Ferraro. Puck still at center, and the body checks still flying here at an early pace and a fast pace as well. Townsend has had the flu, does not look sick at all. He's been dealing out the lumber. He also had a pretty good scoring chance. Here's a giveaway. Gavey in, shooting Gamble the save. Foy gave that puck away right to Aaron Gavey, and Gamble had to be alert to get a pat on it. Here's Gavey again the drive, and a glove save made by Gamble. Now Jeff Cobb shooting, Gamble another save. Oh, my. Give the give a break. Wow. Three outstanding saves by Troy Gamble. Here come the arrows across the line. Looked like they were offside. They thought 
they're offside, but they regroup at center and shoot it into Knight territory. Arnett with a great move, shoots, he popped it, scores! Top shelf, Scott O'Neill. I think he's not wanting that in NHL goal. Big one there, two on the arrows in it. B-E-T, veteran, and that's exactly what they did. Great teamwork as the arrows kept it alive in the far board when they regrouped into the neutral zone. And Wilkinson was an outstanding prospect for uh, Esposito's club in Tampa Bay. Just totally bewildered. The puck comes off the boards. And watch the great move by Arnie right between the legs of Mayer. The little dipsy doodle takes it to the short side and puts it top shelf. And that is experience. Eric Mayer. Wow, he had to look behind him and find his pants. They were on the ice from that undressing from Scott Arneal. And Arneal's got his family here in town. They just moved here, so he's doubly happy. His wife gets to see it. He's got a lot of jump here. He's throwing his body around, and a nice goal there. Here are the arrows again. Yo, the drive, and that's deflected away. Goslin pinching down the left side. Rolled it along the far wall. The arrows, yo, trying to get in there. So is Maurice. He fishes the puck out. Now it's Peter, for, or excuse me, it's Alan Peterson, rather. He fell on top of the puck in play. He's whistled down. Now Eglund and Maurice push and shove. And St. Cyr wants in there, and he gives a pretty good poke to Campo. And everybody getting locked up. Now St. Cyr and Campo wanted each other. And the linesman give him some credit here, breaking this up, doing a good job there. With 5.32 to go in the first, Arrow's leading this hockey game 2-1 to one on Scott Arneal's goal, and that is his 11th of the year. A veteran move, and just a great move. And Mayer looked for the puck. Now you see it, now you don't, right between his legs. And Arneal goes top jump. The thing that was impressive about that goal, three things. Number one, the way that he controls the puck, puts it between the legs, and with a fake, he drew Wilkinson and went to the short side up on top. Coincidental minors to Campo and St. Cyr. And we'll go four on four for a couple of minutes. 5.32 to go in the first period. 2-1 hockey game and face off for the to the left side of Derek Wilkinson. You know, the arrows, Terry Wyskowski has wanted not only just good jump, but physical play. And so far, you look at our Oshman's game plan, so far we've seen everything. 15 minutes does not make a hockey no. game, but it's the best 15 minutes I've seen the arrows play here at the summit. Here's a puck now as the arrows, Dave Tippett works it back, a long shot from Valamont, sizzles wide of the net. Now back to the left side, Hackborn turns it in front for Carl Valamont, pinching down the left side. He is tossed into the boards by Colin Miller. Tippett's got it in skates, fished out by Dubois. Now Corey Cross along the far corner. He's running there by Hackborn, fucking behind the net now. Arrows trying to come up with it. Here is a puck picked up Hackborn along the far boards, but it's taken by the Knights. And they'll come to center ice with five minutes to go in the first. 2 1, the Arrows lead it. Here is Dubois trying to make his move around Valamont. He's spun off the puck, stays tough in the corner. Tippett jams him in there with a big check along the boards. Here's a chance. Puck center, Julia wide shoots that's blocked by Valamont puck now on the far side or right wing board rather Colin Miller in a battle with Kevin Grant now Julia trying to feather one out in front that hit legs and came out to the near corner now Grant and Julia skate this gate in the near corner Valamont in there as well trying to move it along it's kicked behind the net Colin Miller comes out to the far side shoots gamble down and got a piece of it now it is Dave Tippett he'll gather in the puck and come to center down the left side at center it's Tippett crossed it up with Hackboard arrows need a line change they'll dump it in and change it on the go Grant does nailed Julie in front of the cage. 420 left in the first 2-1 hockey game. 47 seconds left in the two or the uh, man disadvantage for both teams. The four on four situation. Now the puck Peter Ferraro dashing down the right side in arrow territory. Looks for Mayer. Stick handles to the top of the slot. Ferraro a long backhander. That's blocked and went to the far side of the net. Here is Peter Ferraro again along the left side at the hash marks. The drive is blocked. Here is Straub. Long shot. That goes wide of the net. It's Steve Goslin for the arrows. Chip the puck behind the net for Chris Foy. Foy from right to left. Get it up to Freer. To center now. Lost it. And Brian Strong works it into Arrow territory. 12 seconds left in the four on four. Here's a helmetless Peter Ferraro. He rams the puck into Arrow territory. 3.36 left in the first two on hockey game. And the penalty's now over. We're back to five on five. Here is Mark Freer. Dips it into the center. Hits the line. Freer, nice move. He spun off the puck. And a penalty coming up for the Knights. Arrows are going to get a power play as play is whistled down. With 3.23 left in the first, we'll take time out. 2 on Arrows on the Arrows Broadcasting Network. When you are 
active, your body heat increases 15 or 20 times. You become dehydrated. As soon as 30 minutes, you lose fluid. Up to two quarts of sweat per hour. But more than anything else, you get thirsty. 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 Gatorade thirst quencher. Drink it. No other beverage enters the bloodstream faster and rehydrates you better. Chug it. Nothing quenches a deep down body thirst better. Scientifically tested, athletically proven. Gatorade thirst quencher. It's gotta be Gatorade. All across Houston, Americans are getting ready for professional hockey. This fall at the summit, the Houston Arrows inaugural season takes off. I already bought my Arrows season tickets. Thank you for buying season tickets and joining the Arrow Force. Arrows coach Terry Raskowski gets the team ready for action. Yeah, boss, here's the scoop. Season tickets start at $100, and you can get them by calling 627-ARROW. That's 627-AERO. It's a 2-1 hockey game, and the arrow's on the power play because of this. Mayor uh, gets undressed, and Straub had to take one for the team. It was one of those damned if you do and damned if you don't type penalties. If Straub does not drape him around, then Freer just walks in, and we get ourselves a 3-1 hockey game. Face off in the circle to the left side of Derek Wilkinson. Here is Lenny Hackborn, Mario Cittaroni, Dave Tippett, Brian McKee, and Steve Goslin. Took the arrows not long on the first power play. Let's see how they do here. McKee make it to Goslin rather. Get it down for Hackborn. He'll set it up base to the right circle back. Goslin, he winds, he shoots. Great save, Wilkinson. The puck in front. Here's the chance. They bang around it. Wilkinson save. The puck comes back to the line. Oh, Wilkinson down. Made a marvelous stop. Now the puck. McKee shoots. And he ripped it wider than that. Picked up by Hackborn. Back to the line for Goslin. Three minutes to go in the period. Two one arrows. McKee top of the left circle getting set. Brian McKee getting, waiting. Now here is Goslin. Works it down. Hackborn. He looks in front. Hackborn tossed it down for Tippett. Base of the right circle. Arrows looking good on this power play. Here is Tippett in the far circle. Works to give and go. Chitteroni trying to center it. That hit Miller, but came back to Goslin. Arrows Goslin with a minute 16 on the power play. The wrist shot. It's blocked. Down on it is Peterson, and he fires into the far corner. Chitteroni for the Houston Arrows. Right wing boards. Top of the slot for Goslin. He winds. He shoots. Stop in front it hit a leg and it might have made it to Wilkinson and sliced up over the glass and out of play with a minute four remaining in the Straub minor 227 left in the first and the arrows leading by a score of two to one 56 seconds and four shots on goal as the arrows employ two offensive defensemen two guys known more for their ability to shoot the puck than for their strength and being able to uh, uh, drive people off the puck Goslin just winds up lets it fly and Wilkinson Looking around, looking around, goes down and says, oh my God, thank you very, very much, Alan Peterson. Peterson, who came out of retirement, uh, describes Peterson right there by draping himself over him. Face off in the circle to the right side of Derek Wilkinson. Freer, Townsend, Arneal with Goslin McKee. Off the face off, Brian McKee for the Houston Arrows. Right point to Goslin. Sends it down for Scott Arneal, who's got a goal in this hockey game. Arneal cuts it down. Here is Freer, had it, had it and then lost it. Freer along the boards is bumped. Now it's Colin Miller. He's jammed off the puck. Townsend having a stick held. Can't do anything with it. Still fighting for the loose puck. Shouldering in there with Colin Miller. It's picked up by the Knights. Eric Dubois sends it up to Julia. Back to the line. Not out. Here's the guys on the drive. Right on! And a great save by Wilkinson through a forest of players. Somehow was able to find that puck and get a pad on it and cover it up with under two minutes to go on the first 2-1. The Arrows lead it with 37 on the power play. This shot is the reason why Peter Dineen wasted absolutely no time at all when he saw Goslin's name on the waiver wire and snatched the kid who was the number one defenseman in junior hockey last year. The guy has got excellent skills. He's smaller than you want for most defensemen. He's got to learn a lot as far as the difference in making the jump from this level up to the eye, but the guy can shoot the puck and he can and stick handle. Both his goals are on the power play. Face off in the circle to the right of Wilkinson. Freer again trying to win the draw. It comes back to the line for Carl Valamont. Getting set. Kevin Grant. Top of the slot lines. That shot blocked. Back hit Wilkinson. Here's Freer. Spins one out. Base in the right circle. Arrows with 27 on the power play. Freer, or make it Arneal rather, along the far side. Right wing boards getting set. His cross ice pass. He'll advise that it came through, but luckily Valamont was there. They work and dig in the near corner. It comes out in front. Back hit a leg. Now Arneal trying to battle in there as he tries to chop the puck away. But the Knights finally get it down the ice. The arrows have been tremendous, putting the pressure on the power play, and that power play now is down to five seconds with a minute 26 to go in the period. Here's Kevin Grant up the road. Tipped it to the blue line, and there's 
a nice play by St. Cyr. Hits the line. Dropped it. Here's Maurice trying to cut in behind the net. A back hitter stopped by Wilkinson. The rebound is worked down to there by Straub. His teams are at five aside. Now the puck at center. Here is Kevin Grant. Hits the line for the arrows. Right side. Center the pass. St. Cyr hitting the post. Oh, cranked it off the iron. And the Knights now trying to clear. Cannot. It came out in front. Arrows turn. A backhander and a blocker stopped by Wilkinson. The arrows trying to grind it out along the boards. It'll come to the near side. Eve Arrow back to the line. And Foy couldn't hold that in. 45 seconds to go. This is icing as Jakes goes back to touch. 41 seconds to play in the first period. The arrows leading this hockey game by a score of 2-1. to one. Coming up at the first period intermission, Barry Warner will be talking to the newcomer, Lenny Hackborn. And I'll tell you, <laughs> I know we're beating it to death there, but just the presence he's had in this in this game, and the presence he's had actually in the first two previous to that, you can just see he is going to add a lot. And the thing is, it's not just his offensive contributions that everyone's going to talk about. I think what it does is it takes off a little bit of the pressure from Mark Freer and Scott Arneal. Those guys have had to do it all year. And let's not forget Clayton Young when he returns. So the Arrows may have a chance of having really three solid offensive lines once you get Eves back, once you get Clayton Young back. Now the puck back in the Arrows zone. Foy, the center, get it to Maurice. Dropped it for Yo with 25 left in the period. Yo, nice move, cuts in, trying to get the shot away. It's blocked. Oh, Wilkinson somehow picked that puck out of there. Here's Julia now. Right wing boards for the Atlanta Knights. Stand Drulia to center. He's got 15 seconds left in the period across the line. Here is Drulia. Dropped it for Mayer. He shoots. That was blocked by Jakes. Now Drulia again lost the handle. Tries to gather in the puck. He centered it, but Maurice able to clear it. And we're going to get a penalty on the Houston Arrows. Mayer was drilled by St. Cyr. And with three seconds left in the period, the Arrows are going to be shorthanded for the start of the second period. And interference, the call, and St. Cyr will go to the box. He was giving Derek Mayer all kinds of trouble behind the net to the left of Gamble. You know, the Arrows, this is pretty good. They're gonna have some time off. They've got tonight's game. They get seven days off. Then they are in Minnesota a week from tonight. Then they'll spend Thanksgiving in Atlanta, play tonight for two. Saturday and Sunday. And the face off now will be to the top of the near circle. Here is Peter Ferraro now. He'll take the draw against Mark Freer. Here's a they joust for the puck. And now uh, Arneal will come in to face off against Ferraro. Here's a chance off the line to draw the shot. Buzzer will sound ending this period of the paint out to Allen as the play is whistled down. So we play 20 minutes of action here. What a hockey game. The Arrows leading the Atlanta Knights by a score of 2-1. to one. When we return, Barry Warner will chat with Lenny Hackborn. That's next. 2 on Arrows back after this on the Houston Arrows Broadcasting Network. Get it moving. Silver Bullet has the taste to keep it moving. Coors Light. Naturally brewed for a taste that goes down easy. Coors Light. Keep on moving. Attention all Aggie fans. Relive the greatest moments in Texas A&M football history with Aggies. A century of football tradition. Follow the incredible journey of the tradition-rich A&M football program. The 12th man, legendary coach Dana X. Bible, Heisman Trophy winner John David Crow, and more. The whole story of Texas A&M football at your fingertips. Call 1-800-769-8843 to order this once-in-a-lifetime publication right now. Gig em, Aggies! Get the lottery tickets. Get the lottery tickets. Everyone's all excited about playing the new scratch game from the Texas Lottery. So guess where I'm headed? 
And what happened to giving someone a bathrobe or a pair of fluffy slippers? I could use some fluffy slippers. My feet are killing me. With four new tickets and a chance at $25,000, everyone's playing holiday game from the Texas Lottery. Let me have a couple of million holiday game tickets and, uh, oh yeah, throw in one of those beef jerkies. <laughs> With another mile of roadway built every 20 minutes, 40 Texans born every hour in any sort of weather at any given moment, Texas is never the same place twice. As a native, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Texas knows change just comes with the territory. From managed care programs to health coverage for individuals, we'll help you meet change and stay ahead of it. After all, we've been keeping Texans in a healthy state since 1939. It's a 2-1 hockey game. We're in the first period intermission. The Arrows leading the Atlanta Knights. And let's go down to Barry Warner. He's standing by with Len Hackborn. Barry? We said during the course of the telecast that we'd be speaking with the newest Arrow, number 15, Len Hackborn. Adam Gordon was there last week when you were a very, very tired camper, uh, feeling like you, uh, you were flying for about uh, nine hours, leaving Springfield, then flying to San Diego, playing three games and three nights. What was that like when you found out you had an opportunity to join the Arrows? Oh, I was very pleased to, you know, join the hockey club. Uh, it was a little tough on the traveling, though. You know, I had a little bit of jet lag there. I uh, left Maine at 6 o'clock in the morning, arrived in San Diego uh, at uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So it's pretty well a full day of traveling there. And, you know, I was a little tired, but I, I felt pretty decent. It's a cliche by coaches. You, you play like you practice. This kid did not have a chance to practice. Now he's had that opportunity. What's it like and what has it meant? being able to practice the Aerodome with Tippett and with Chitteroni. Uh, you know, it helps a little, you know, where uh, each other's going and, uh, you know, what to expect from each other. Uh, you know, plus, you 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 know, you've got rid of the jitters from, uh, you know, your first couple of games and you, you're playing a little more relaxed. So, you know, it definitely helped a couple of days of practice. Now, the birth certificate says 34, but Lenny Hackborn keeps himself in great shape. And last year during the offseason, you played, what, roller hockey? How did that come about? Uh, well, where uh, I have a summer home in Portland, Maine, and uh, they, they happen to have a roller hockey team. So I went out for the first four or six weeks there and uh, kept myself in pretty good shape. And uh, I played played about half the season. Then I decided it was time to quit. I was getting a little burned out from uh, you know the heat exhaustion and losing 10, 12 pounds a game of water. So I uh, I quit probably about halfway through the season. But I really enjoyed it and it was quite similar to hockey. Now it's no coincidence that the Arrows have played, in my mind, their best first period of play here at the Summit. And no coincidence that part of that was because of the line play there and some of those blind passes. You feel comfortable just after a couple days of practice making a blind pass? Well, they're not exactly blind passes. You know, I I uh, kind of anticipate where where my line mates are going to be. And, uh, you know, with the experience on the line, usually those guys, if they're going somewhere, that's where they're going. You know, so I, you know where they're going. As if you're playing with a younger guy, they seem to go here, they go there. But, you know, with the experience, it helps. Well, Lenny Hackborn is going back into the locker room to be with his Arrow teammates. And we're going to take a break. And I'll go back upstairs with my play-by-play -play partner here on HSE, Adam Gordon. We'll be back after this. Here's a great holiday gift idea from Six Flags Astro World, a 1995 season pass. You get unlimited visits all year long to Houston's own Six Flags theme park. Buy now and get a Water World season pass free. Six Flags over Texas free. The best concert deal in town. Holiday in the park this year and next free. All for just $44.95. On a family pass, you'll save 40 bucks. But hurry, this great offer ends January 1st. Get the perfect holiday gift right now at all Kroger stores. Congratulations. As a cable subscriber, you have chosen to succeed. You have chosen to broaden your mind and multiply your sources for immediate news and information. Because you want the convenience of your local forecast every five minutes. Because you need to know the in-depth information concerning the weather. And because we can give you around-the-clock coverage in severe weather situations. You have chosen the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. for the ball. We all know they'd give it to me. I'd be double covered, but that wouldn't stop me. 
I'd jump up and snatch that rock. I'd eyeball the hoop. Guys would be clawing at me. I'd plant, turn, fire. Naturally, a switch. Oh, yeah. The Rockets take the Bulls by the horns in a Clutch City showdown. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Want to see it again? I still have two seconds left. Bulls, Rockets, Thursday at 7, live on HSE. The NBA, here we go, here we go! You want action, we got it! You want dumps, yeah, we got it! You want the NBA, we got it! Hey! Rebound to Matt Lever, releasing Jackson, driving to the hoop, the slam! Grabbed by Jackson, here come the Mavericks on the run, bounce off to Mashburn, driving, slams, another contact! Wow! Join Ted Davis for all the action on 570 KLIS. Welcome back to the Summit in Houston, a 2-1 hockey game here in the first period intermission. Adam Gordon along with Barry Warner, and what an outstanding period. Well, Adam, I said during my interview down uh, downstairs with only Hackborn, this was the best first period of play that I've seen the Arrows play at the home ice. They did everything we talked about in our Oshman's uh, game plan, and they did an excellent job in all phases of the game. And don't forget, they were shorthanded at the 14-second mark and killed off the 81st penalty out of 91 attempts during the course of the year. Barry, let's take a look at tonight's highlights in the first period and boy there were a lot of them first goal was a lovely one from brian mckee uh, mckee uh takes the pass and starts with a tip it to chitteroni and mckee had to balance the puck on his stick because it was a little outstretched before he lit the net and eglin coming in takes advantage of a poor poor play on the part of robinson and as he's going down slides it by troy gamble but boy the arrows come back and this was maybe the goal of the night oh, maybe of the year what a terrific play there Scott O'Neill, now you see it, now you don't. Spread your legs and I'm gone. Mayor has no prayer whatsoever, and it goes to the top shelf on the short side. He totally bewildered an excellent prospect you're going to see in the NHL for many years to play with the Tampa Bay Club in uh, Darrell Wilkinson. So the Arrows lead it by a score of 2-1. to one. And, you know, you, you look at, we talked about the Oshman's keys to victory and the, the game plan there, and I think really they did everything that they had to do. They were physical. I thought Scott O'Neill might have been one of the best players out there the way he was physical he was rested he came back three games and three nights is tough on younger guys let alone someone like scott and it's coincidental also his family has moved here they've got a home in greatwood the family came in yesterday first chance his wife has had to watch him play other than trying to find someone with a dish in san diego and catching catching the hsa feed all right it's 2-1 the arrows lead it here in the first period intermission we'll have more from the summit after this on the arrows broadcasting network Excuse me, Shetty! Excuse me, Shetty! In the NFL, there's only one sports drink, and it's gotta be Gatorade. Explain a quinella to me. Yes, sir. <laughs> most valuable player. It's time to jam. Can you dig it? It's a war out west. Napoleon is watching his Husky troops while the Cougars deploy their deadly defense. Washington at Washington State. Saturday at 5.30 Central, live on HSE. 
the Summit in Houston. Adam Gordon along with Barry Warner. First period intermission. The Arrows leading by a score of 2-1. to one. And let's see how it happened in the first period as we look at the first period stats brought to you by James Coney Island. And the Arrows out shooting uh, in the hockey game, 13-10. to 10. And, uh, you know, you look at that first period. The Arrows, uh, as we said, out shooting Atlanta 13-10. to 10. Their power play, which is the story I want to get to in a second. One of two on the power play. Both teams, three penalties for six minutes. But that one of two power play, I thought both power plays, they really moved the puck well. Especially the second power play where they didn't light it up. I mean, we, we saw five shots on goal. Goslin got a couple of great shots. Uh, the kid up from the juniors. And McKee with another good shot. That I thought they were going to get themselves another goal. Let's take a look at the HCA scoring summary for that first period. And started with Brian McKee at 9 or 7 4 excuse me, McKee, his third goal of the year for Mario Cittaroni and Lenny Hackboard. But boy, Alan Eglin came back with a lovely goal. Going around Rob Robinson with a backhander at 11 16. Eglin unassisted 1 1 at that point. But the arrows come right back at 14 06. Scott Arneal, 11th goal of the year from Mark Freer. And the arrows have a 2 1 lead. And as we said, out shooting 13 to 10. When you come back and you look at the second period, really, there's not much you change. You've got to keep the intensity up. Well, right from the start, because Jerry St. Cyr is going to be in the penalty box. So it's very important for that first shift for the muckers to come out, the penalty killers, to dump the puck, to skate it off and go back and then start doing the same thing they've been doing, putting black jerseys right into the dasher boards here at the Summit. By the way, I saw lots of folks out there at the brand new food court that the Kenneth Schnitzer and Mike McGee put in here at the Summit. That's what took me so long getting on up. Yeah, I thought I saw you back there having a few dogs and no, all that. Oh, no, no, no. It was a hamburger. <laughs> All right, 2-1 the score. Hopefully Barry will be back with me the second period if he's not at the food court. 2-1 Arrows, and we'll be back with the second period on the Arrows Broadcasting Network. What happens when you mix NFL football hit, hit, hit. with Nashville country music? You get NFL Outlaw Country. Football like you've never heard before. <laughs> Join Travis Tritt for one partying home video featuring the biggest stars of the NFL doing their thing to the hottest sounds in country. Don't miss this special TV offer. There are absolutely no magazines to buy and no clubs to join. Call and order Outlaw Country, where the NFL meets Nashville in one unforgettable home video. Only $19.95. Use your credit card and call 1-800-592-1222 to order your NFL Outlaw Country video, where the NFL meets Nashville. Only $19.95 plus shipping. This is a special TV offer. Call 1-800-592-1222. What if I was the coach in crunch time? I'd say, fellas, listen up. Here's what we're going to do. Line up here. You here. You there. You over there. You by there. Inbound here. You pick for him. He bounces out. Look for him under there, and he'll put it in. Always works to perfection. Dick Mott is back, and he's leading the man. What a move. On second thought, if I was the coach in crunch time, I wouldn't need this clipboard. I tell these fools to sit down. I'm flying solo. Kings, Mavs, Thursday night at 7.30, live on HSE. Welcome back to the Summit in Houston. Adam Gordon along with Barry Warner. 2-1. The score here is we'll be getting started with the second period very shortly. Let's take a look at the upcoming schedule brought to you by Coors Light. The Silver Bullet. And the Arrows, they're going to have seven days off. And then next Wednesday, the Arrows will be in Minnesota taking on the Minnesota Moose. Their third trip already to the St. Paul Civic Center. Game time is at 7 o'clock. And that'll be on KNUZ Radio only. In fact, these next three games are all radio only. Friday night, uh, or actually I should say Thursday, Thanksgiving, the Arrows will probably just spend the evening in their hotel having a nice Thanksgiving dinner and then Friday and Saturday night the Arrows and the Atlanta Knights uh, 12 noon Friday and uh, that's on KNUZ as we said and then at 6 30 p.m. on Saturday the Atlanta Knights once again so we'll get to know this team very well in the next week and a half. And interesting the Arrows just came back from a rugged road trip and speaking to John Paris Jr. the outstanding coach of the Atlanta Knights he said one of the big differences with this club other than the, do than the dozen players that he's had to change who have gone on to play in either the NHL or up in Denver is the fact this is their first real test of a road trip. It's a long road trip. Some of these guys have had the flu, but he said no excuse. He's told his guys adversity is part of being a professional, and you have to play through it. And they're down on the, on the short end right now of 2-1. to one. We said the Arrows 
We're uh, out shooting the Knights after that first period, 13 to 10. We didn't even really talk about the goaltenders. I thought both played uh, very well and made some great saves. That they did, and Troy Gamble made the big save, and it's so important for a goaltender to get that first save, to just get that first one under his belt, and the Arrows wasted no time, and they were on the power, on the uh, penalty killing right away. They came in, the, the shot went, there was a rebound, and boom, the Arrows cleared it. One thing that Terry Ruskowski has done in the first uh, period of play, he's dressed seven defensemen, but he's normally playing about five. He's got a different rotation. I asked him why, since I seem to get better results with five defensemen than spotting somebody than having the three pairs. So you know, we're going to see if that uh, holds up in the second period. He brought up the fact that uh, Terry Ruskowski was uh, going to tell his defensemen not to pinch as much. Do you see that being effective at all tonight? But, uh, how many breakaways have there been? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Multiply my body weight times zero. I think I'm there. All right. You're right. 2-1. The uh, arrow's leading the Atlanta Knights. And, uh, you know, Stan Drulia has not been a factor like we thought he would be, but perhaps a lot of it could be because his line mate has the flu tonight. Jason Rupp, if you're just joining us, was supposed to play, came up with the flu, is not playing, and you're talking about a guy who's maybe the, one of the hottest players in the IHL along with Rob Brown. That's one reason. Another reason why, as what Ruskowski has done, is that instead of countering with the checking line, he's made sure that Kevin Grant, who's going to be our guest between period, between the second and third, is out there when the Julia line is there. And we saw right in front of the cage one time when Julia just got nailed by a very powerful legal check by uh, Kevin Grant. All right, we are about ready to start the second period of action. There is 157 remaining in the St. Cyr minor, so the Arrows will have to go to work killing that penalty off first. And uh, we'll wait to see who Terry Ruskowski opts to put out there to start. And uh, right now the team's just going to get with their goalies there and get ready for an exciting period. You, know, you, you look at Rob Dobson, who's down talking with Troy Gamble, and I don't think you'll find a better tandem of goalies. Usually you have competition. You know, Dobson was saying when he was playing in Muskegon and Cleveland, especially when they had three goaltender rotations, you know, as much as you got along with the guys, you knew that when you got in, you were fighting for a job. You were fighting for time and all that. There's no competition between these two. They're both trying to just get Ws. These guys are roommates and they're best friends. Face off will be at center ice. The Arrows will bring out Len Hackborn, Dave Tippett, Kevin Grant, and Carl Valamont. The Atlanta Knights will start with Peter Ferraro, Stan Drulia, Chris Ferraro. Defensively, it'll be Dubois and Mayer. The Arrows will defend the goal to my left, and the Knights the goal to the right. Drop of the puck, and we're underway as it's Hackborn here. It gave the puck back to Ferraro, though, across the line. Peter Ferraro starts the power play, dumps the puck into the arrow zone. Out of the near side, Julia. Pumped along the boards by Grant with another good hit. Here is Dubois, back at the left point. Dances to the slot, looks for the shot. Now Mayer again, lets the high shot go. That sizzles to the near side, Julia. Back top of the slot, Dubois fakes the shot. Now a chance, Mayer shoots. That's blocked. That hit Valamont. He tries to bat it out of there. We're going to get another penalty. Battle in behind the net, I think this may come to the arrows and another clutching match after the whistle we've got cross checking coming up now we've got peter ferraro in there and i think the arrows are going to be two men down barry that looks like it looks that way ferraro had his helmet knocked off kevin grant who's going to go to the penalty box a fine acquisition picked up off waivers November 2nd, I believe, or November, I think it was November 30, was picked up off waivers from the Milwaukee Admirals. And five addition to the blue line as he'll go to the box. 31 seconds gone. So now, for a minute 27, the Arrows 2-1 lead in jeopardy with a minute 27 to St. Cyr and a fresh two minutes up to Grant. So a five-on-three power play. And to add a little injury to insult, a face-off to the right of Troy Gamble. So tip it, the lone forward with Valamont and Foy. Here is Colin Miller. He'll be out there with Ferraro and Julia. Dubois and Mayer defensively off the face-off. Knights have got it. Top of the slot. Derek Mayer works the five-on-three. Quick shot. This will wide. Julia, base of the left circle. Popped it back to the line. It's Stan Julia to Eric Dubois. Top of the slot. Getting set. Sends when Julia cuts down. Centered one. The shot upstairs. Mayer went a little too high, and he missed the net. Now Julia again. Left side. Cuts in. Sends the pass down low. Stuff shot. Double save. Rebound. They score. It was Chris Ferraro. A power play goal.
of frustration, but it is very, very difficult. It's tough for the run and shoot as Jack Pardee found out to block five against seven, and it's tough here for a goaltender when you're going five against three to come up uh, with a goose egg. So Chris Ferraro, who this was all set up by Julia, who did a fine job, but it was also Colin Miller that jammed one in there, but I think Ferraro was the one that ended up tipping it in there. Regardless, we are tied at two. You tried the wraparound, and then uh, Ferraro was there just to poke it. That's what you watch. So the Knights stay on the power play for another minute and a half, and they'll have the puck back in their own zone, and they've tied this game up at two. Here come the Knights now. Out the right side, Derek Mayer cuts it out to center ice. Mayer lead pass, tipped away, goes into the arrow territory. Robinson clears the line, not out. Picked up Julia, right side, walks right in, centered it. Ferraro can't get the shot away, and now it's picked up by Arneal. He'll move to center ice. Scott Arneal across the line with Freer. Here is Arneal, pulls up left side, and then just goes for a skate. He's in no hurry. He just pulled back and center, dumped the puck into Atlanta Knight territory. Arrows making changes. Here are the Knights now, back in their own zone. Pass center ice for a breaking stand. Julia hits the line, tries to move around Robinson. Here's Julia, who was bumped off the play. Stays with the puck, though. Julia, give it to Chris Ferraro. Left wing, cuts it down. It comes back to the line, Julia. Worked it for Peter Ferraro. Now stand Julia, top of the slot. Dubois sends it over to Derek Mayer. Centered it. Here's Ferraro. Can't get the shot away. And it's picked up by Cittaroni. He'll move to center. He's got Maurice breaking. Cittaroni fakes the shot. Now barrels into the backhander. Wilkinson got a shoulder on it. And he'll cover up and hold on. 26 seconds remaining in the Kevin Grant liner. And uh, the arrow, Steve Jakes, uh, got away with a high stick. And he and Ferrero went at it. The sticks were up past the shoulders. 2 2 our score here on the 5 3 uh, power play goal by Ferrero, who just jammed it in by Troy Gamble. 56 seconds. Ferrero is seventh on the power play from Miller and Julia. And a base off now to the left side of Derek Wilkinson. 2 2. I'm going to use a good crowd. I'd venture right around, oh, 10, maybe. Off the faceoff. Here is Drew Bannister, former Sault Ste. Marie Greyhound. Has himself a Memorial Cup ring with the Greyhounds. With their head coach, Teddy Nolan. Here is Cross now. Shoots the puck into the arrow to the arrow zone. Gamble knocked it down. It's popped out the center. And into the Atlanta night territory it goes. Wilkinson out of the net. Leads for Bannister. Back heel headed in behind them. Met by St. Cyr, but Cross turns it around. Here is Corey Cross. Chip one out to Eves and Arrow. Trying to clear. He was harassed by Maurice, but Arrow will erupt to the neutral zone. Here is Arrow. Hits the line, and the Knights are off sides, and they'll bring the face off back to center. It's a power play now over. Teams at five aside. 17 20 to go in the second. To our score. And over the boards comes the Eglin line of Alan Eglin, Chris Campo, and see if Gretzky's uh, kid brother is out there. It's Aro, I think. Yes. Aro out there instead of. Um, no, excuse me, it'll be Jeff Toms. That's who's been up there. Who took Toms off of the uh, Gabby line. As uh, John Ferris Jr. is trying to change his lines here. The arrows we set at the beginning of the period were shorthanded. Shorthanded not one but by two and paid for it. Face off center ice controlled by the Houston Arrows. Here is Steve Jakes now. He'll move to center. Jakes gave the puck away but it's chipped back and controlled by Robinson. Hustles back to his own zone. Robinson right side drifting back some more. Watch by Campbell. Right side Jake sends it back to Robinson left side. He's checked by Eggman. Good hit by Allen Eggman. Robinson shakes that off. Get it out to center ice. Now the puck back into Arrow territory. Gamble out of the net and here is Steve Jakes now. Jakes in behind with three minutes gone in the second. 2-2 hockey game. Jakes takes one off the board. It's out to center. Pounds it. Can't get it away from Jeffrey Toms. At center. Toms dumps it in and a big sandwich hit that Toms was collided in with Freer and Townsend. Now the arrows come away with it. Here's Steve Jakes to center. Right side Freer across the line with Townsend. Freer shakes off. Strobs to cuts it. The shot has been centered one. And that couldn't quite get in there from Scotty Arneal. Now behind the net. Stop shot by Arneal. Let's turn around with a left pad saved by Wilkinson. Here come the Knights. Four on three across the line. Shoots! Left pad saved by Campbell. Here is Graham Townsend now. He'll turn it up to the neutral zone. Townsend to the arrows. Left to right. Shoots the puck in. It'll go to the near side. Len Hackborn in there. He tries to muck it up along the near side. It's taken back by the Knights. Alan Eglin at center. He's given a sharp check from Chris Boy and imprinted along the fireboard. Now at center. Eglin shoots it into arrow territory. Campbell out of the net. Get it out to Dave Tippett. He'll move it out to center from left to right. Tippett's passed it ahead for Hackborn across the line and here's a move as he tried to get around Dubois who fell but can't quite advance it any further. Now Hackboy makes it left circle, sends it back to the line. Foy wide, takes the 
shot. Now lets one fly. That was blocked in front. Now to the near side. Julia gets it to the line. Not out. Arrows hold it in. It's tightly controlled by the Knights. Here they come to center ice. Here is Peter Ferraro. Blocks it into the Gamble. Blocker save made by Gamble. Now it is Chris Foy along the left side. Hand it over to Kevin Grant. Shakes on the check. Give it to Mike Hill. Worked it out the center for Hackford. He'll hit the line. Nope. Lost the puck and it goes back into Houston Arrow territory. 15-18 to go in this second period. 2-2 hockey game. Side of the net as he was run off by Dubois. Now in behind the net, it's Chris Cro or Corey Cross rather for the Knights to center. Malamont shoots it in, and now it's turned around by the Atlanta Knights. Here they come. Chris Ferraro shoots the puck into Arrow territory. It's now Mike Maurice. He'll cut to the right side, making out the center ice. Peterson shoots it into the Atlanta or the uh, Houston Arrow zone, and Gamble slows for Jake. 14:45 to go in the second. We're tied at two. Jake's now. Sends it out right side, Mike Maurice, banks one to center, turned around St. Cyr, nippy pass behind for Yo, hits the line with Maurice, Yo trying to make the move, he does cut in, stuck aside by Wilkinson, and he will cover up and hold on, and play is whistled down. Five and a half, gone here in the second period as we take time off, 2-2 our score, hold on here as we've got now pushing and shoving, we're going to keep it here for a second, and they push and shove some more, and now we can take our time out. Five and a half, gone in the second, tied at two on the Arrows Broadcasting Network. Today's Houston Arrows broadcast is being brought to you in part by Coors Life. Reach for Coors Life, the silver bullet, and keep on moving. Get it moving. And the silver bullet has the taste to keep it moving. Cruise Light, naturally brewed for a taste that goes down easy. Cruise Light, keep on moving. One of the greatest rewards of being a golf professional is being able to see people of all ages enjoying the game of golf. You're watching HSE, the best team on TV. to hockey game. Adam Gordon along with Barry Warner and the Arrows. I'll tell you, you know, with these TV timeouts, this really helps both hockey teams and makes it a better game because they get the extra time to rest. Troy Gamble absolutely loves it. When I came to the uh, skate around this morning and he said, what is it? Is it 8.30? I said, no, it's the four one-minute breaks. He said, you guys are looking out for me. I love it. I get to go back, have some water, hang out with the guys, speak to Dobby come back and regroup. You know, a lot of people think that goaltending, uh, as far as uh, stamina, is, is not that big a deal. You stand around most of the time, but I'll tell you, you're wearing a lot more padding, you're throwing your body around, and you're in for the entire game. So, yeah, those 60s help them. Puck shot into Houston Arrow territory. We're tied at two. Turn around Mike Freer. Now to the near side, Jakes has got it for the Arrows. Banks went off the boards. It's out the center. Now Jakes sends one ahead. Freer trying to find the handle. Can't quite control it, but it goes into Atlanta Knight territory, and Aaron Gavey is back. He's checked with a big hit from Arneal, and he imprints him like a credit card to the near corner. Now Jakes back into his own zone. Watched by Arrow. Here is Valamont. Left side, turned it up for Arneal. He's had a very inspired hockey game today. Now it is Townsend across the line. Trying to center one for Arneal. That's tipped away. Puck given away. Fred cuts in a backhander, and he fanned on it. Here's the puck in front, and oh, Arneal was hooked down, and a penalty. Coming up to the Atlanta Knights, and the Arrows will go on the power play. A slash. And the Arrows will be back on the man advantage with 13.45 to go in the second in a 2-2 hockey game. Arneal uh, skating right now. He's got the jump on his legs. The Arrows coming in there is Freer. Tries to, to take the shot, and uh, down goes Freer doing a fine job, and they're working hard. He gets attacked from behind, and so the arrows now will go on the power play, courtesy of Yves Zero, who was kind of mauling Freer in front. And they tell you the center back will not take the opposition center and tie him up. Well, that's what he did. He knocked him down. So the arrows, who are one and two on the power play, will get another chance. Freer and Arneal and Townsend with Goslin and McKee in a face off to the left of Wilkinson. Last time they were on, they got five shots on goal. 
Drop the puck here is Corey Cross now in behind the net. He'll turn. Ooh, it was batted down. Arrows have got it. Here's Mark Freer now. Right wing boards. He'll quarterback it now. Freer winds, fakes the shot, cuts it. Arneal right in the shot. And a great save. Wilkinson rebound. Oh, Wilkinson stacked the pads and he got him knocked down. And that puck is whistled. And Wilkinson a little shaken up. And boy, look at these saves by Derek Wilkinson. Wilkinson, uh, such a high draft choice of uh, Tampa. Goes down, comes back up. He's screened by uh, Townsend and by the six foot five inch cross. Well, you know, and Arneal was in there, Barry. Two good chances for Scott Arneal. And, you know, I know I'm kind of beating the issue here a little bit, but uh, he is just, this is his best hockey game I've seen him play. And I'll tell you what, I'll, he'll, 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 he'll uh, I'll hear about it for saying this, but I think it's his best game of the year, and I'm sure he will corner me and say, no, it's not, but I think this is his best performance. I haven't seen as many as you have, obviously, because you're on the road the entire season with the team, but the veteran who played with Buffalo and uh, who was uh, a big acquisition when he came over from San Diego wants to coach in uh, this league just doing a super job tonight. He adds so many elements away from just the offensive side. He's a smart, heady hockey player, and I mean, he just compliments Mark Fleur so well. Both those guys compliment each other. Here's a puck now back in the Atlanta night zone. It's shot back down the ice, and Eric Dubois with the honors. He has been, I think, one of the best defensemen for the Atlanta Knights in the entire series this year against the Arrows. Here's a pass, center ice for Steve Goslin. Shoots it into Atlanta territory. Takes a weird hop, but it's in behind the net. Townsend trying to gather it in. Crosses in there. Worked over by Freer. They continue to go out at the corner. Now it's worked to the line and shot down the ice. 12.53 to go in the second. 2-2 two -two score. Minute done. six remaining in the penalty to Eves Arrow. Arrow started to get tired there and went for that uh, shift change. Now the puck back in behind the net. Here is Brian McKee. He'll move it from left to right. Pass center ice. Ooh, Maurice had to turn behind him and get it. That's a dangerous play when you got your head down. But now here's Hackburn the shot. A weak one as it kind of hopped over the stick. It was kind of a, a, a bad shot. He tried to get some lumber on it and it jumped off the stick. He had a chance and Wilkinson got the pads on it. Down the near corner. Hackburn in there with Chitteroni and Maurice. Puck goes in behind the net. It came out and but Chitteroni. Oh, trying to look behind him and couldn't get the stick on it. It's picked up by the Knights and shovel all the way down the ice. Half a minute to go here is Gretzky who came out from nowhere trying to harass uh, Gamble. And it's finally Brian McKee to center. Get it over to Maurice. Cross ice pass. Hackborn looks in front. Sends to Maurice. Trying to get the shot away. He was hooked up by Gretzky. Now they go out of the corner. Gretzky a feisty check along the boards and that goes down the ice. 11.53 to go in the second period. We're tied at two. Five seconds remaining on the power play. Here is Carl Valabot now for the Houston Arrows. And now he's just by the side of his back on the ice. Grant weaving through traffic. Get it to center. Turn around by Colin Miller. Break the puck in. Julia's got it left side. One man to beat Valamont. Here is Julia. Valamont's got him. It comes to Peter Ferraro. He's batted down by Kevin Grant. Grant in behind the net. Worked over by Ferraro. Good work by Tippett to work a little interference and let Grant skate the center. Shoots the puck in. Out of the net. It's Wilkinson. Stop behind the cage. Roll it near side. Julia. He's bumped by Yo. Now to center. It's Derek Bayer. Trying to bring it through Tippett. Nice move as he brings the puck in, but there's Tippett to work it away. Valamont doing a fine job with holding up Derek Mayer. Now Grant takes his shoulder from Julia, and they continue to joust along the near corner in arrow territory to the right of Gamble. Puck fished out. Ferraro now sends it to the left side. Brian Straub cuts down the left wing. Now in behind the net. Looks along the board. He comes out. Far side. Shoots. Blucker. Save Gamble. Rebound. Oh, Gamble. Another one. He got a blocker on the rebound. How in the world? Oh, what a stop. Now to the near side. Here's Colin Miller down into the near corner. It's in there, Straw. He's running there by Grant. Puck came out in front, but there was Jerry St. Cyr to get it to center. St. Cyr through the neutral zone. Popped it ahead for Tippett Lebring into the zone. Late in the shift, he centered it, and he needs a line change. Oh, my. Good action here from the Houston Summit. Now St. Cyr's shooting. Oh, great save by Wilkinson. And the puck squirts Grant's in front, and the Knights will chop it down the ice. It was deflected, though, and they'll say no icing. Outstanding action in front of both nets. Here's Chris Foy now in behind his own net. He'll wind it up into his own zone. Shake off a check from Eglin. Down the right side. Foy trying to bring it ahead. He's run off the play by Eglin and Christian Campo. And the Knights turn it out the center lead pass. Eglin trying to get up with it. And that play goes about on the two-line pass. We're halfway through this one. Don't go away. 2-2 our score on the Arrows Broadcasting Network. 
you are active, your body heat increases 15 or 20 times. You become dehydrated. As soon as 30 minutes, you lose fluid. Up to two quarts of sweat per hour. But more than anything else, you get thirsty. 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 Gatorade Thirst Quencher. Drink it. No other beverage enters the bloodstream faster and rehydrates you better. Chug it. Nothing quenches a deep down body thirst better. Scientifically tested, athletically proven. Gatorade Thirst Quencher. It's gotta be Gatorade. Position your company as a leader in the poultry industry. Get here ASAP. With the new Memo Start. Express pager from Motorola, you receive actual text messages instantly. Look, you're on track. Unlike those clowns yesterday who brought in some guy in a chicken suit. <laughs> chicken suit. Lose a chicken. <laughs> Introducing the Memo Express pager from Motorola for the messages you can't afford to miss. The Memo Express pager from Motorola. Now available at all mobile media locations. Why do athletes have sleepless nights? Well, whether it's in baseball and you think about that one pitch that could have been a home run, or in hockey, where your eyes get so big, is Chitaroni has an opportunity to score a goal, and he, the puck bounces, he shoots, swing and a miss, strike three, and he will not sleep on that tonight, believe me. On the other end, some fabulous defensive play. Where's the stick? Why it was knocked down, it was a broken stick. The rule says you can't play with a broken stick, so Grant, who will be our guest between periods has to get down there use his feet and try to use his body all right we're back to action here is jake's top of the slot wide shoots right on wilkinson to save and play whistle down you know i was uh, kind of wondering when wilkinson went down and i was told here that uh, he was actually hitting the throat with that puck that one save where he went down is atlanta trailing in the shots on goal department eight five in this in this hockey game so at this point it's now 21 15 in favor of the houston arrows but the one big stat though the great job they did on that uh, uh that uh, penalty there when uh, Hero went off for slashing the arrows uh, did not have the opportunity because of the way the Gretzky and the uh, power uh, the penalty killers did their job base off in the circle to the left side of Wilkinson Freer and Neil Townsend with Jakes and Hoffoy and a little jousting is Freer was starting a little early but he'll stay in there to take the draw against Colin Miller Again, they're not liking the way that Miller, you have to square up. You don't just put the stick down. The linesmen want you to square up so that nobody has an unfair advantage. And Miller wasn't squaring up there, so the linesman says, hey, fine, go square up outside the circle. We'll bring somebody else in. He who cheats wins the faceoff. That's right. Here's Yves Aro now against Mark Freer. Sticks down, I think. <laughs> here we go, drop of the puck. Arrows have got it. Arneal over skates it, trying to get it back. Fish down and skates. Here's Graham Townsend now. Face of the right circle for the Houston Arrows. Arrows trying to motor it along. Here is Townsend. Shakes off a check. He fell. Trying to stay tough, but the Knights are there to shoot it back to center with nine and a half to play in the second period. We're tied at two. Back into Arrow territory it goes. This will be an icing call. It's Foy back to touch, and they'll bring the face off right back into the Atlanta Knight zone. Atlanta, a tired hockey team right now. They're making sh uh, quicker shift changes something that we saw the arrows do when they play three games back to back but uh, Atlanta with no spare players John Paris jr. who was battling the flu he had about 103 degree fever uh, very confident got his master's degree in psychology and he definitely wants a shot at the NHL and believe me I believe this man will get it face off in the circle to the left side of Derek Wilkins will drop the puck and it's back to the line Jakes the shot right on hey, Wilkinson another one sliced wider than it and finally the Knights are able to clear it Paul Wilkinson not sure on that third one but it went wider than it now gamble lobs one fire side Eglin takes it along he's imprinted along the board here's another shot they score Eves arrow the arrows were so worried about Eglin along the fire side arrow went in alone a backhander beats gamble and the Knights have their first lead of the night it's 3-2 what a play. Steve Jakes back there just talking to himself right now. Troy Gamble had that lonely, desolate feeling with that Louisville uh, in one hand. The puck goes into the boards. There are two arrows there trying to watch Eglin, and then Hero just walks in. Jakes does not go out to the side of the cage, and Eglin walks in and puts the puck between the pads. Eglin will probably get an assist on that goal for Eves Hero. And now it is Mario Cittaroni. He's at center across the ice for Valamont. Now the arrow's playing come from behind hockey. Valamont, Tippett, Sands. Here's Hat for the drive. And the left pad saved by Wilkinson. Now here 
come the night, Staub. Staub fired one ahead for Chris Farrell. Gamble had to come out and cover it up. And play is whistled down. With 8.47 to go, we'll take time out. 2-3-2, two, two, the Knights lead it back after this on the Arrows Broadcasting Network. Some players set records. Others will break them. Doubles and triples. Down the line or into the stands. The hits just keep on coming. Jeff Bagwell, this is Star Power. Astros baseball, Star Power. The Astros salute first baseman Jeff Bagwell, the 1994 National League Most Valuable Player. Sinaloa in Mexico's Northwest. <laughs> outdoors for the great traveler here's one reason why Phil Esposito the general manager of Tampa Bay is so high on Derek Wilkinson he's back in the cage comes out notice how he guards that post and then swings over with the kick save fundamentally a very very sound young goaltender there's not one thing that he does great but fundamentally he's schooled well and that great shot that we got on our hsc camera there showed the perfect stance 60 percent on the toes 40 percent back on the heels and moving from side to side face off now in the circle to the left side of troy gamble gretzky uh, against hackborn and the arrows have got it here's tip at the center ice with uh, mario Cittaroni, and he overskates the puck and he's had a couple of chances tonight i've never seen him struggle this much with the puck now the puck is out at center you know the thing is he's normally a center iceman but tonight he's playing right wing for the first time as the puck brought in offside to the face off to center and that is a huge uh, difference uh, playing off that point that you just made one you don't have as much ice two your responsibilities are different and number three when you're going to get that puck off the board and you're small you got a good chance of getting pasted into the dash face off center ice as we look at other games going on tonight, San Diego and McNichols Arena taking on the Denver Grizzlies. Fort Wayne is at Peoria, Milwaukee playing some great hockey right now at Phoenix. That ought to be an outstanding hockey game. Uh, the Milwaukee Admirals, who right now doing a fine job leading this the central division as they come in one of the, the better records in the IHL. And once again, Julian, and so is Kevin Grant. Drop of the puck, and the Arrows have got it off the faceoff. Kevin Grant now bringing out this center ice. He'll shoot the puck into the Atlanta Knights. Here's Dan Grulia, little motor in behind the net. Fired to the near side. Colin Miller working out the center, batted in there by Kevin Grant. Now down to pick up the puck is team captain Stan Grulia. Left side, Grulia fired the puck ahead. Kevin Grant pushing Farrell along the boards. It goes into arrow territory. Rob Robinson pass to the far side for Yo. Can't throw Grulia, backs it in deep along the far side. Now Robinson trying to take Grulia off the play. Can't. Here's a chance. Puck centered in front. And it's through legs and kicked away to the near side. Fished out by Maurice. Clear to the line. Not out. Cross a drive. That's blocked by Grant. And here's Yo to center. His cross eyes pass is batted away by Cross. And here come the Knights. Arrow. For Peter Ferraro, a quick snapshot and a stick save by Gamble. 7.36 to go in the second. Knights lead it by a score of 3 to 2, but it's been an outstanding hockey game for the moment we dropped the puck tonight. Here is Robinson at his own blue line. He'll place that high in there. We'll bounce deep into nine and night territory. Wilkinson will slow. Here is Corey Cross now. Cross gets it out the center. Jakes will turn at his own blue line and fire it to Mario Cittaroni. Tip the puck into the Atlanta Knights zone. Here is Dubois in behind the net. Send one to Allen Eglin. Brings it to center. His lead pass got Here's Campo right in. Campo turns. Trying to get the shot away. Oh, Gamble got lucky as a row came in. Another drive spanked right on. And Gamble got a piece of that one, I believe. And now it's Kitteroni to center ice. Missed Tippett with a pass. Oh, man. Three great opportunities for the Atlanta Knights. Gamble got a couple of them there. And the puck is back at the arrow blue line. Lenny Hackborn trying to shake off an Allen Eglin check. Balamon sends it to the right side for Jakes. It goes to center. Campo is there. Sends it into his own zone for Big Allen Peterson. Center right for Gretzky. Back Peterson, his own blue line. Knights 
Just working the puck at their own blue line. Here's Alan Peterson. Sends it back in his own zone. Bannister to Peterson again. Left wing. 6-19 to go in the second. We're at a 3-2 hockey game here. The Knights lead it. Now a centering pass. Campbell got that. Puck down to the near side. For Jeff Tom. Base to the left circle. Trying to cut it in there. Tom shakes off a check. Shoot! Short side. Missed the net. He bit it in front. That's batted away. Here is Chris Ferraro. Back to the line. Straw. Long drive. Blasted wide. Tom's getting worked over by Jake Ferraro. Trying to spin Jake's off the puck. And if that isn't holding, please somebody tell me what is. As the puck goes out of play with six minutes gone in the second. 3-2 hockey game. Uh, the referee, Rob Martell, say, well, let play go on. And that's indeed what we'll do. We'll let it go on. And now we'll have a face-off to the right of Troy Gamble. Tom's got nailed. And as Chitterone came out for that line change, he just grabbed Chris Ferraro. It's going to get chippy. And the last two shifts to go, Jerry. St. Cyr, not once, not twice, but three different times, one after different Atlanta Flames. Knights, Knights, Flames, Knights. I know, I know you're old, I Barry. I know once a game. I, I know. You know. You're right. I'll be 51 next two weeks. You're not that old. I, I got a 51-year-old birth certificate, a 91-year-old body, and an 11-year-old mind. That's why I love sports. Face off. I love to play hockey. Face off to the left of Troy Gamble. Rear uh, against Colin Miller. Drop of the puck. And the arrows have got it. Here is Robinson. Back in line. Disney. He'll start the rush from left. 3-2 the Knights with at 5.46 to play here in the second period. Here is Robinson now, in behind his net. He'll send one out to center. Townsend can't find the handle, but it'll go into Atlanta Knight territory. Back goes Dubois. He's checked by Townsend. A big check along the boards. Now through behind the net. Waltz is out of big hit. It's not Wilkinson. The rebound. And the arrows can't jump on the loose puck. Now it is Goslin. He's batted in there. And finally play is whistled down. I can't believe the chances Scott Arneal has had in front of the net. He almost got another one there. Arneal was there, almost was there for a backhander, but the, the puck was just about two inches wide of where he could get his blade on it. Freer with the wraparound. Freer who loves it behind the net. As Townsend gets nailed down, Freer as he tries the wraparound backhander and just ridden off the puck as the puck is about two inches wide was Arneal. Frenchy Goslin coming in to try to control it. Goslin on the uh, point right now, along with Robinson. Face off in the circle to the left side of Derek Wilkinson. Top of the puck, and the... Who's got it? Harrells have got it. All right, Goslin, right point, long shot, right on. Wilkinson the save. Now the puck base in the right circle. Arneal turning, can't get the shot away. We're going to get a delayed penalty on the Atlanta Knights. Here's Bannister in there, and now we get a whistle. And Townsend comes in there, and he says, all right, all right, let's go. We got it. Now Townsend getting feisty. If he doesn't keep his cool, he's going to cost the arrows here. They're going to get a power play. It'll be their third one or uh, fourth one of the night, and I think we're going to get a holding minor, the call on the Atlanta Knights, and it looks to be Colin Miller with 5-12 to go in the second. The arrows trailing 3-2. Big opportunity here to tie this hockey game up. It could have been uh, that, or it also could have been a uh, big uh, Allen Peterson, the six foot five inch defenseman. Uh, could have gone off there also. So a face off in the circle to the left side of Derek Wilkinson. And there is Miller in the box. And a face off now, Mark Freer. Scott Arneal, Graham Townsend with Goslin McKee. It's Peter Ferraro with Stan Drulia. Peterson defensively with Bannister. And you want to get number uh, 21, Graham Townsend, part in front of the net. Face off now, Freer against the sticks down, jounce for the puck, Fur wins the draw, Goslin top of the slot, rolls it for Arneal, top of the right circle, back, here's Goslin, back for Arneal, cuts it down, sends one, here's a chance, Freer shoots, stopped by Wilkinson, and he's down and covering up. Arrows move the puck, but right now they're getting sharp angle shots a lot from the side of the net, and Freer trying to tuck one in there, and just no room to move it out in front, the Knights don't give you much of that. You, you took the words right out of my mouth, they've got to move out about four or five feet, the passing has been very sharp, they're moving the puck around, but see there, he's straddling the red line. He should try to be out, so he's starting toward uh, the, the top of the circle there with that uh, half moon in front of the goalie's crease. Mark Freer, who has an assist tonight, and uh, he's playing a, a, a very good hockey game tonight, although he has nothing to show in the goal column. He's got the assist on the Arneal goal, and he has created a number of chances. Two offensive defensemen in Goslin and in McKee. Off again to the left of Wilkinson. This time the Knights win the draw. And here is Cross in behind his net. Puck controlled by the Knights, and Cross will blast that down the ice. And arrows go down for it. Gamble out of the net. He'll feather a pass. 
for Lakee. Not a center. Here is Mark Freer through the neutral zone. Hits the line. Fakes the shot. Here is Freer now trying to pull up. He lost the puck. And the Knights clear it. Here's a chance. The Knights have got it. Short-handed. Arrow right in. And he's chilled off the puck by McKee. I'll tell you, McKee got back. I'm not so sure he had to do that. It looked like he got back in time, but he wasn't sure if he had any help. So he took the chance and said, I'm going to wrap him up. And he's going to get nailed for the holding call with 4.30 to go here in the second period. 3-2, the Knights lead it. The penalty killing crew doing a super job there as Hero comes in. And McKee, like you said, did not know whether he had the help or not. Uh, you can second guess that while you're sitting out for the next two minutes. But that's one of those where, uh, once again, you've got to make that split second decision. So that'll do it for the arrow power play. We'll go four on four for a minute 19, and the Knights will get 41 seconds of their own power play. And a face off in the circle to the right side of Troy Gamble. Here is Hackborn and Tippett with a defensive unit of Alamont and Grant. Brent Gretzky, Alan Eglin, Corey Cross, and Eric Dubois. Drop of the puck, and the arrows have got it. Here is Kevin Grant. Spins one for Len Hackborn in his own zone. Behind the net for Carl Valamont. He'll turn it up the left side. Here comes Carl Valamont now. Pass to Kevin Grant. He'll move to center. Grant lead pass. Hackborn tipped it into the night zone. Back goes Dubois. Hackborn trying to pop it away. It comes to Alan Eglin for the Atlanta Knights. He'll move it to center ice with Brent Gretzky. Here comes Eglin with a goal tonight. Hits the line. Alan Eglin trying to motor in there as Valamont got tied with Gretzky. And that was behind the play. Here comes Carl Valamont now. Galloping up the left side. Pass for Lenny Hackborn. Through the neutral zone. Will hit the line with Tippett. But his pass, a, 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 an ill-advised one that was turned around. And here comes Peter Ferraro. Tries to make the move around. Valamont turns for the quick shot. Bam on that. And here comes Valamont. A lead pass. Picked up by Tippett. Tippett now. Through the neutral zone. Kevin Grant. Cross ice pass for Hackborn. Gives Tippett the wood timer. And that thing goes way back. And Bob Euchre may be the only one that had a chance to get that one. We'll take time. On the Arrows Broadcasting Network. What are you waiting for, Texas? Your Ford dealers have stocked up with new cars and trucks for the 95 sales drive. Like the Taurus, America's best selling car now has low 2.9% financing for up to 48 months. Choose the Sporty SC model and you can save over $3,000 in finance savings alone. Add that to your option package discount and you can save over $4,300. But it's only for a limited time, so hurry to your Texas Ford dealer. All across Houston, Americans are getting ready for professional hockey. This fall at the summit, the Houston Arrows inaugural season takes off. I already bought my Arrows season tickets. Thank you for buying season tickets and joining the Arrow Force. Arrows coach Terry Ruskowski gets the team ready for action. Yeah, boss, here's the scoop. Season tickets start at $100, and you can get them by calling 627-AERO. That's 627-AERO. 335 remaining in the second period. The Atlanta Knights leading the Houston Arrows by a score of 3-2. to two. I'm Adam Gordon with Barry Warner, and right now 24 seconds remain in the minor to Cullen Miller of the Atlanta Knights. And then when that expires, the Knights will have a 41-second power play, which would remain to Brian McKee. These next three minutes and 35 seconds are crucial. The Arrows cannot give up a goal and go down 4-2. Face off, top of the fire circle in the Atlanta zone. Drop of the puck, and the arrows have got it. Here's Steve Jakes, left side, popped it down into the fire corner. It's Bannister looking for Alan Peterson. He'll bring it up the right side. Here comes Alan Peterson with 3.26 to go in the second. 3-2 hockey game. Peterson shoots the puck into the arrow zone. Now after it, Chitteroni trying to pop it out of there. It comes to the near side. Peterson trying to work it free as well. Peterson trying to jam it in there through the check of four hours. Wrapped up by Robinson. They still go out and skate the skate in the near corner. Robinson trying to fish it loose. Him and Farrow continue to grind it out. Now Julia popped into the boards by Jakes. Here is a chance now. Colin Miller as the Knights are on the power play for another 31 seconds. Three minutes to go here in the second. 3-2 Atlanta. Here is Miller. Get it to Peter Ferraro. Sets up left circle. Hash marks. Still wheeling and dealing with the puck. Looks. Gets it down. Miller. Still in it. Face in left circle. Julia camped in front trying to get a screenshot away, but it was blocked as it was centered. And here comes Mike Maurice. He'll turn it down the left side and blast that to center, but he shot it right to Bannister. Now it's turned. Here comes Chris Ferraro. Down the left wing. Right in. Shoots. Far side. Missed it badly. And now Chitteroni's got a chance. A man to beat. Short end. Here comes Chitteroni. Hits the line. And he's smoked by Straub. He centered the puck. But now team's back at even strength. So the arrows got the job done. But here's a giveaway. Eglin comes right in. He shoots. And he fired it wide. Eglin had a break. Now him and Grant continue to 
Chels behind the play, but it's picked up by Townsend. He fired it into the zone. Graham Townsend, quick shot, blocked by Wilkinson, turned in behind the net by Derek Mayer. Mayer cuts it out to the far side for Alan Eglin, through the neutral zone and across the line for Arl, trying to center it. Arrows can't clear. Eves Arrow, whoop, knocked off the puck with a solid hit. Now Eglin at center, lost the puck. Arrows trying to bring it ahead. Here is Scott Arneal. He hits the line, lost the puck. Now Townsend trying to shake and bake around the move of Ferraro, but that was right back in. Ferraro again, left side. Get it to the line. Here is Straub getting set. He winds, fakes the shot, moves around Balamont, but Carl ties him up, pushed him into the corner. Now they continue to grind it out. Now Townsend getting physical with Chris Ferraro, and play goes right on. Then Kevin Grant. This is a very feisty Houston Arrow hockey team tonight. We've got 128 left in the second period. The Knights leading by a score of 3-2. to two. If, the, if the Oilers play this physical on Monday night, the city of Houston will be happy for Jeff Fisher's debut. I mean, this has been a very physical game as uh, Townsend just retaliated there, giving his George Foreman impersonation you know, with the one shot. The thing I like, Barry, and you look at... The, the play here where a row gets just drilled off the puck. Part of it is he stepped on it, but I like the fact the referee, Rob Martell, you know, he's letting him he's letting him play, and you know, the thing is he's he, he's got a very good feel for tonight's hockey game, and uh, he's just letting him go. The other thing, too, the linesmen have done an excellent job when things do get chippy of getting in there right away. Face off will be to the right of Troy Gamble. Maurice, St. Cyr, and Yo with a Robinson and Goslin dropping the puck. Knights have got it. Corey Cross, a booming drive, was deflected. Now Goslin up the left side. Goslin turned it out to center. Cross ice pass picked up at the neutral zone by Maurice. Lead pass, St. Cyr rolled off his stick. He's hauled down. This will draw a penalty in. The arrows are going to go on the power play. So St. Cyr, who looked like he caught a little high stick. You know, the thing is, is they got to look to see if maybe there might be a little bit of blood on there because that could draw five. But, you know, the thing is, you, you watch St. Cyr. He made a nice play as he timed it at the blue line. Great pass there for Maurice. And then right there is Jerry St. Cyr who moves in, and you can see the high stick right at the neck. And it looks like a lynching on third avenue as down he goes. And the arrows will get a power play. Two minutes up on the board to Corey Cross. 3-2 the score, so 115 left in the second. So that means Houston will get the 115 here, 45 seconds if they need it in the third. But for Terry Ruskowski, you say, look, we've got the bulk of it here. Let's get a goal late, tie this thing up, go into the second period intermission, and come out and play it for the third. Face off will be in the circle to the left side of Derek Wilkinson. Hackborn, Tippett, Maurice with Goslin McKee. For the Atlanta Knights, they'll bring out. Colin Miller and Stan Grulia with Eric Dubois and Alan Peterson. Face off left to Wilkinson and the Knights win the draw. Back is Peterson, spanks it along the boards. Goslin held it in. Teeters it down to the right side for Tippett, skipped over the stick. Now pinching, here's Maurice trying to feather a puck. He's got it into the corner, looking for Hackborn. Lenny Hackborn, right wing boards, and it's given away, and it's shot back down the ice. It's not quite as much oh, jump as I would say in this power play that they've had in the second period. They've had a couple of power plays and not nearly as effective as they were in that first period. Here's Hackport, a pass off the stick at Tippett. Peterson cleared it to center. Now Goslin has to wait for his team to regroup at center, and he just dumps it in. Julia back for the Knights. Send it over to the far side, and Duval will just shoot it down the ice. 38 seconds left in the second period. Here's Troy Gamble now out of the net. He'll hand it over to Brian McKee, and away the arrows will come. McKee, lead pass, center ice for Scott Arneal. Circles back to his own blue line. Here comes Scott Arneal with a goal tonight. Hits the line. Arneal pass, just eluding Hackborn. Now the arrows have to go back to center ice. 20 seconds to go here in the second period. A minute three remaining in the cross minor. Puck goes down into Atlanta territory. Wilkinson out of the net. Julia Booms went along the boards. It'll come to the line. Not out. Held in by McKee. Down the left side. Here's Arneal with eight seconds to go. McKee wide. Shoot. Good save by Wilkinson. Now Mayer. He can't clear it. Three seconds left. And the period is going to end as McKee lets the shot go. chances, but the Atlanta Knights get a couple of big chances. Two goals in that period, and they now lead this hockey game by a score of 3-2. to two. When we return, Mary Warner will stand by with Kevin Grant, new defenseman for the Houston Arrows. He'll have him next after this. Knights lead it 3-2 on the Arrows Broadcasting Network. 
It's time for friends to fly free on Southwest Airlines. Wake up and smell the coffee. And people are friendlier than ever. Just make reservations at least a day in advance and buy your round trip ticket at Southwest's regular low unrestricted fare and a friend flies with you free anywhere we fly. Yo, Dad, what do you think? Friends fly free on Southwest, the low fare airline. Attention all Aggie fans, relive the greatest moments in Texas A&M football history with Aggies, a century of football tradition. Follow the incredible journey of the tradition-rich A&M football program, the 12th man, legendary coach Dana X. Bible, Heisman Trophy winner John David Crow, and more. The whole story of Texas A&M football at your fingertips. Call 1-800-769-8843 to order this once-in-a-lifetime publication right now. Gig em, Aggies! You want the NBA? We got it! Hey! The Dallas Mavericks give me another lot of action! The Dallas Mavericks are back, playing against the Jaws, Akeem, and the Shaq. But guys like Jamal, Jason Kidd, and Jimmy Jackson come to reunion and see nothing but action. Dick Mata, we got him! Jamal Mashburn, yeah, we got him! Jason and Jimmy, yeah, we got him! Hey! The Dallas Mavericks give you nothing but action! With a 12-game nothing but action plan called 214-988-0117. Tis the season for sports this December on HSE. The Rockets, Spurs, and Mavs take the court looking to stuff a few stockings. Ho, ho, ho. Then the college kids get a break, a fast break from winter with the Kraft Rainbow Classic. The high schoolers prepare to jingle a few bells in the 5A championships. Next, the arrows take a glide on the pond and plan on sending a few presents down the chimney. Unwrap a bundle of sports this December on HSE. Welcome back to the Summit in Houston. Adam Gordon along with Barry Warner. Second period intermission. The Knights leading the Houston Arrows by a score of 3-2. to two. And you know, the Arrows all year have had some defensive problems. And one guy they hope can help solve those problems is Kevin Grant. He's standing by with Barry Warner. Barry, take it. As you said, Adam, one of the big problems the Arrows have had this year has been on the blue line. They needed more size. They needed more muscle. Someone with authority. Someone who was going to be a steady rock back there. And that's exactly what happened when Peter Deneen saw the name of the kid from Toronto and Ontario on the waiver wire. Kevin Grant, you're a veteran of the IHL. Uh, last year you were with Phoenix, this year with Milwaukee, and I guess you and the general manager and coach up there are not going to be exchanging greetings during uh, the Christmas season, are you? Well, I don't think we're on each other's Christmas card list, that's for sure. Um, I, as I said, I played in Phoenix last year, and uh, the last month and a half I was I was loaned to Milwaukee because uh, we weren't making the playoffs, and uh, they needed an extra defenseman, so I was glad to go. And uh, as it turned out, I was at the end of my contract and ended up resigning with Milwaukee, but uh, over the summer they changed coaches and uh, different philosophy and uh, they didn't want a new players. You went in and you, you wanted out, didn't you? Oh, absolutely. I played three games of the first 12 and, uh, you know, you know as well as I do, you can't uh, can't survive in the league uh, playing that many games, so I asked to be moved. What's the toughest adjustment you have to make to the style of the goaltenders or to your defensive partners? Well, yeah, you have to get used to your partners. I mean, uh, that's your bread and butter out there. You count on him uh, you know, as, as much as anybody. And uh, the way it is going right now, we're switching around a lot, trying to find a groove. But uh, I tell you, one of the more uh, more obvious things I've noticed is the humidity here. My God, it's hot out there. What's the big difference other than the humidity in getting used to the summit? Uh, the ice, the, I guess there's a uh, concert in here, or a basketball game in here last night, and uh, the ice is very sluggish. I mean, uh, that's just things that uh, happen. They happen in every city, but... Uh, Unfortunately, it happened on the first night here in Houston. And unfortunately, what happened to you, uh, we were trying to kill a power play, uh, trying to kill a penalty, I should say. You didn't have a stick. What in the world does the defenseman try to do without the lumber? Well, it makes things tough, that's for sure. Um, we should have had a little bit more communication with the forwards. And uh, what ideally was supposed to happen is the forward is supposed to give me my stick. He wants the guys closest to the goaltender with a stick at all times. You're using a unique philosophy. Not only are you guys not pinching defensively, but instead of a checking line, Terry Wyskowski's strategy is to have you out there to drill Stan Julia. Is it tough for you to look at a forward and also look at the rest of the ice? Um, not really. I've been kind of used to it. It's, uh, I've been used that way a little bit in my career, and uh, especially last year when we played Atlanta in the first round, I played against Julia a lot. And uh, I had a, f a little bit of success. I mean, he's, you can only contain a player like that for so long. And uh, I just try to do the best I can when I'm out there against him. I'll go get you a little orange and towel off.
off and get ready for the third period of play. Okay, thanks very much. And Adam Gordon and I will be back with more between period comments on HSC after this. Back to the summit in Houston, a 3-2 hockey game. The Atlanta Knights leading the Houston Arrows here in the second period intermission. And once again, Barry, uh, another outstanding period. I think we're being entertained in one of the best games. Well, that's it. The crowd of 10,000 here really enjoying the action here. It's been hard hitting. There's been excellent passing, some fine saves. It's gotten chippy, but it hasn't gotten out of hand. You know, you look at tonight's highlights, and although the Arrows haven't scored in that second period, they had a lot of them. But the first highlight we want to look at, a great goal as the Arrows not quite working too hard on this one, but the Knights come up with a great goal. Well, two guys get pinched in the boards going for the puck. And uh, they just move the puck around. And Troy Gamble just uh, has no prayer there. That was the five on three, excuse me. That was the situation where there were five on three on the power play. There's where two guys are pinched over to the side. The puck comes loose and Steve Jakes does not come out to help out Troy Gamble sufficiently. He's, he should have come out to the short side of the cage and Gamble just was uh, was basically left naked. Ferraro got his eighth goal of the year in that period and uh, Yves Aro got his third of the year. And the Atlanta Knights now lead it by a score of three to two, but still, the Arrows played a good hockey game. Well, they, out, period. Yeah, they outshot uh, the Atlanta club once again. And with the exception of that power play, they failed to capitalize on. And uh, that situation where two guys were caught on the corner pinching, it's been an excellent game. You know, Kevin Grant, we talked about him. I think, you know, this has been the most physical we've seen everybody play this year. And not only that, Robinson, who has got the size but sometimes disappears, has not been cast with a friendly ghost. The Arrows have done a better job tonight of finishing off their checks than any time that I've seen in the in probably the last three weeks. And you know, you look at a guy like Oleg Shargarodsky who sat his last couple, you know, this is a big game for him to watch. He's got to get back into the lineup, but the way the D's play it, we'll have to see. It's 3-2. The Knights lead it here in the second period intermission. We'll have stats and scoring recap for you after this on the Arrows Broadcasting Network. The star of the Greater Houston RV Show is the Ron Hoover RV Center. The show's over, but the sale continues at our I-45 location. Dozens of motorhomes, fifth wheels, travel trailers delivered from our four Texas locations to the Ron Hoover RV Center on I-45. The same low show prices and on-the-spot financing. Select the country air, the country star, the Dutch star from the Newmark collection. Buy this week only and get a free trip to Branson, Missouri and save up to $20,000. It's the biggest RV sale in Texas at the Ron Hoover RV Center on I-45. Some players set records. Others will break them. Doubles and triples. Down the line or into the stands. The hits just keep on coming. Jeff Bagwell. This is Star Power. Astros baseball. Star Power. The Astros salute first baseman Jeff Bagwell, the 1994 National League Most Valuable Player. What if there were only three seconds left on the clock? I'd call for the ball. We all know they'd give it to me. I'd be double covered, but that wouldn't stop me. I'd jump up and snatch that rock. I'd eyeball the hoop. Guys would be clawing at me. I'd plant, turn, fire. Naturally, a switch. Oh, yeah. The Rockets take the Bulls by the horns in a Clutch City showdown. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Want to see it again? I still have two seconds left. Bulls, Rockets, Thursday at 7, live on HSE. The best team outdoors features the best block of outdoor programming in the Southwest. A group of the finest sportsmen ever assembled to help you catch more fish, have better hunts, and enjoy the great outdoors. True sportsmen practice catch and release, conservation, and preservation of nature. But they bring something home as well. A great time. here in the second period intermission and let's go right to the uh, period stats uh, again a great period and the arrows 17 shots on goal in that second period now have 30 for the game the knights had eight in the second period now 18 for the game Derek wilkinson stopping all 17 shots he faced uh, Ro uh, troy gamble stopping six of the eight he faced for the houston arrows power plays the atlanta knights in that period one of three on the power play and are now one of four for the hockey game while the houston arrows 0 for two on the man advantage
percentage are now one of four on the night. However, they still have some time remaining when we start the third period of play. In penalty situation, the Atlanta Knights had three penalties for six minutes while the Arrows had two for four minutes. Period recap, the scoring in that second period, and it started at the 56-second mark. Atlanta's Chris Ferraro jamming in a, a shot from Colin Miller. Stan Druya got the other assist, and at that point, the Knights had tied the hockey game at two after the Arrows had a 2-1 lead after a period of play. Then at 10.50 of the second period, Eves Arrow dug out a puck. Alan Eglin was jammed along the boards by two Houston Arrows. Nobody picked up Arrow, and the Arrows are trailing 3-2 in this. And the scoring summary brought to you by Columbia HCA Healthcare Corporation. So the Arrows, the Arrows leading or trailing by a score of 3-2. What kind of adjustments are they going to make here in this third period? Well, they got to come out and they got to set a tone right from the start of the third period of play. What they have to try to do is get some shots and pepper Wilkerson. We talked about the jump start early. We've got to see it now. And Hackborn is one of the guys who I think will be a key. Either Hackborn or O'Neill will bring this club back. Yeah, I think you kind of need to see the jump that we saw in the first period. I thought, you know, O'Neill and Freer were much more dominating in the first period than perhaps what we saw in the second period. I don't know if it was a case of tiredness or just the Atlanta Knights picking up their play. It's a combination of both. Well, yeah, you got a couple of veteran players, but Atlanta did ride to the occasion. Remember, they got the ring. And speaking of rings, Calvin Murphy was out today showing off his NBA championship ring. He is a big hockey fan. He's looking for schedule. He wants to get out here to the summit. He says he's going to put the ice, put, put the blades on and come out and skate with the team. Gosh, I hope he's not out there with you, Bear. 3-2. Oh, the Knights lead it here in the second period intermission. We'll have more from the summit, including the third period after this on the Arrows Broadcasting Network. should hear this new album called Lost in Love. It's a new four record collection that has 36 of the best soft rock hits performed by the original artists. You got it all over him. You got me over him. Records or two cassette tapes are only $19.95. Two compact discs, just $24.95. Here's how to order. To order, call 1-800-592-1222 or send $19.95 for records or cassette tapes or $24.95 for two compact discs plus $4.95 shipping and handling to the address on your screen. It's time to jam. Can you dig it? Duke is on the rise at the ACC Cinderella Story. But North Carolina is out to rewrite this happy ending. Saturday morning at 11 on HSE. Fight night. Fight night. Fight night. At the Forum. Hook. Uppercut. Right cross. Lights out. Live from the Forum. Monday night at 10 on HSE. Period intermission. Adam Gordon along with Barry Warner. The Knights leading the Houston Arrows by a score of three to two. And I'd like to reintroduce Arrowwear for all you Arrowheads. It's this is an authentic game jersey. It's a replica of the one the Arrows wear at the Summit. Home whites with the Arrows distinctive logo plus colorful green and blue accents. Jerseys come in two sizes: small, medium, and large, extra large. Carefully tailored to guarantee a comfortable fit. The aerodynamic look, if you will. Uh, it's made in Canada by Bauer Pro Wear, the official uniform supplier to the Arrows. Comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, and they look great. They're available for $79.95 plus $5.75 shipping and handling. To order, call 1-800-423-2121. Credit cards accepted. Join the Arrow Force and show your true colors. Call 1-800-423-2121. And, uh, hey, make sure you ask for Arrow Wear. $79.95. Uh, actually, I think maybe I'm going to go get one after this game tonight. Uh, uh, be proud to wear the, the mighty whites with the green trim. So, uh, some fine-looking Arrow Wear. And a fine-looking hockey game, Barry. 3-2, the Knights lead it, uh, and uh, we just...
just been, I just, you know, when as, as fans as we are of the game, of course, we, we deliver the play-by-play -play and all that, but we are really fans of the game, and we really enjoy a game like this where you've got not only a nail-biter like this, but it's been such good physical hockey. This is a, a lot of heavy hitting tonight. You know what it is? It's playoff hockey during the month of November. We're proud of about 11,000 here, including a good friend of ours taking a busman's holiday. Rich Ward from KTRH got his wife and the kids here at the game. He's watching the game tonight. First chance he's had to really get out and soak it up as a fan. And the fans are enjoying tonight's contest because it is, and I really believe, you know, believe this is the way that, that playoff hockey should be played. We're seeing that type of intensity. Looking at upcoming games for the Houston Arrows, uh, but first we got some scores for you, then we'll talk about the schedule. In the uh, first intermission, Denver leading San Diego by a score of 3-1. to one. Also in the second intermission, Fort Wayne leading the Peoria Riverman by a score of 4-1. to one. And in the first period uh, intermission, Milwaukee one nothing over the Phoenix Roadrunners. Uh, good hockey in there, but the Arrows next action, like we said, a week off, and then they're back at it on the road as they take on the Minnesota Moose. Game time is at 7.08. Arrows pre-flight on the Arrows Broadcasting Network beginning at 7 p.m. It'll be the third time the Arrows have taken on the Moose, fourth meeting of the year. The Arrows last time winning by a score of 4-1. to one. As a matter of fact, Barry, are you planning to put some turkey away on Thanksgiving? Put some turkey away? I'm going to be putting away your portion because you're going to be with the team in Atlanta. Well, you know what? The Arrows are going to start a tradition of their own. They're going to put away some Moose, the Minnesota Moose, and you folks down the network could be part of it. Tune into HSC and the Arrows Broadcasting Network Sunday afternoon that weekend. 27 with the arrows wind up that road trip with a, a game with the Minnesota Moose. It's Houston and Minnesota Sunday the 27th, 4 o'clock right here on the Arrows Broadcasting Network at HSE, the best team on TV. So we're about ready to start the third period of action. 3-2 the Knights lead it and obviously Barry, I guess it kind of goes without saying that the next goal, huge for whoever wants it. You want the good news or do you want the bad news? Give me both, Barry. Alright, well the arrows are 1-9 one when trailing after two periods. They're 5-0-1 when allowing three goals or less. So they've, they've given the Knights their limit of three. You know, sort of like the hunting season. You can bag only so many deer. Well, they've given them their three goals. So what the Arrows have got to do right now, they've got to come back, and it's going to be their half point or Neil Or we'll throw Chitteroni's name out there because he's had buzzer's luck tonight. He's fanning on that one shot and coming close in a couple of those. But I think one of those three guys will deadlock this thing, and then we get ourselves an even hockey game from that point forward. We'll start the third period. The Arrows will be on the power play. 45 seconds remain to the penalty to Corey cross of the night so the arrows go five on four for 45 seconds and it'll be Arneal, Freer, Townsend with Goslin and McKee but uh, we're waiting a little bit as Corey Cross sitting in the box there and we'll just kind of picking up the squeeching off the excess water down behind Troy Gamble who defends the goal to the right Derek Wilkinson to the left and we're ready period number three Mark Freer against Colin Miller at center ice. It's Miller Drulia with Peterson and Dubois. And right now the referee, Rob Martel, checking with all the official scores. Make sure we're ready. We are dropping the puck. And here's the third period for you. Arneal back into his own zone for Steve Goslin. Runs it up the right side for Mark Freer. Across the line. Freer cuts in. Nice move. Lost the puck. It was swatted out of there by Wilkinson. Now to the near side. It's picked up by Drulia. Pass center ice for Colin Miller. Hits the line. Got by Goslin. But Steve got a good stick on him. Knocked him to the puck. On. Now Drulia in behind the net. He's wrapped up by McKee, but he came out in front. Here's the shot. Gamble with an outstretched save. Puck picked up by Dubois. Here is Dubois pinching down the right side. He runs it in behind and it'll come back to the line. Alan Peterson, but he was waiting for it at center, and he's just going to kill off the remaining 10 seconds. Back in his own zone. It is Dubois. Shoveled it back down the ice. Out of the net. It's picked up by Gamble. Goslin back in behind, and here we go. The arrows up the right side. It's a penalty over to the by the side. Here's Townsend. Pass for free. He's belted off the puck by Corey Cross, who's back out on the ice. Now it is Graham Townsend along the fireboards, trying to kick it down. It's picked up by Mayer, and he'll run in behind his net. Mayer past the near shot. Eve zero across the ice for Christian Campo. Hits the line. Shit! He ripped it wide. Came squarely off the inboards. Picked up by Kevin Grant of the Arrows. Spanks one to center. Knocked down by Mayer. Tippett tried to work it free, but back to the night blue line. Brian Straub, center ice. Arrows have got it. Here's Kevin Grant. Right side. Can't center the pass. Brent Gretzky gathers in the puck. He'll send it out to center. Eves Arrow now. Hits line with Campo and Mayer. Arrow centered one. Puck rebound. They score. Eves Arrow, I think, tucked that in. And Gamble, I'm not sure, knew where that was coming from. And the Knights now have a two-goal lead at 4-2. 
see this play starting with uh, uh, Grant trying to make a play in the offensive end, getting caught up by a two-on-one, and it looks like Valamont was down, sandwiched in between the two-on-one. But that was an example of what the Arrows did want to do. They didn't want to pinch, didn't want to take any chances in the offensive end, and they pay for it here. It's good. The, the, the puck gets lost by Grant, and they just pick up and clear it to the, uh, the cross pass. And school is out right there. Valamont goes down, tries to make, and may have deflected off of Valamont's stick. All right, we're back to action. Here's Brent Gretzky now. Get it out the center ice. Christian Campbell across the line. Right side, blocked by Robinson. Shoots the puck in. Out of the net. Here is Campbell. He'll leave it for Jakes. Steve Jakes trying to circle away from the forecheck. Brent Gretzky. Jakes now runs it far side for Robinson. Now back to the near corner for Jakes. He'll turn, spank it off the glass. It'll go down the ice. This will produce an icing call with two minutes gone here in the third period. Back to touch Brian Straub and play halted 4 to Atlanta. Well, the Arrows will once again have to play some serious come from behind hockey, but as we saw in Phoenix, three goal deficits were not too tough for them. They came roaring back to make it an interesting game when they trailed 5 2, but it just wasn't enough when they trailed 5 4, and then they give up the empty net goal to fall 6 4. Face off in the circle to the left side of Troy Gamble. And here is. Maurice, he'll face off against Alan Eglund. Sticks down now between the two. And drop of the puck. Arrows have got it. Here's Chris Foy now in behind the net. He'll turn it up the fireboards. Foy now trying to work it up behind. Foy still with it. Uh, pop it into Atlanta territory. Took a hop off the glass and it bounced right back to the center for Steve Goslin. Shifted into the Atlanta zone. Out of the net, Derek Wilkinson. He'll slow behind the net. Back in behind here is Bannister. He'll cut it out for Ferraro. He jarred off the puck by Goslin. Finally out to center. Here is Jeff Cobbs. Lead pass. Eglin. And we're going to get a whistle and a penalty as one of the arrows down. And this was behind the play. I did not see it, but Chris Ferraro is going to go to the box. I can't see the arrow that's down, but I think it's Goslin. Oh, Goslin no. got whacked. I mean, got whacked. I've seen Timber go down uh, like that. Just nailed him. And that is not a faking move by Gosman. Uh, the 20 year old just went down like someone sniped at him. Well, right now, Jerry Mines taking a look at him. And 17.34 left in the third. And if the Arrows want to come back, they're going to have another chance here on the power play. They haven't uh, scored on their last couple of opportunities, but use one here. Gosman is still down. And Mark Furr comes over to take a look. He was, as you say, Bear, chopped pretty good there. And in the box, Chris Ferraro, two-minute minor. And he comes off limping, Goslin does. He got him with a lot of lumber. And, you know, sometimes things happen. It's a little love tap. That looked like it was vicious, like it had a message to it. And I do not know what precipitated that. Face off center ice. Here is Freer Arneal Townsend with... Grant and McKee. For the Knights, they'll go with Colin Miller, Stan Drulia, Eric Dubois, and Corey Cross. Two and a half count of the third. Arrows need one here. They're trailing 4 2. Here is Kevin Grant off the faceoff for the Arrows. Hands it over to McKee. Slice one out to center ice for Graham Townsend. Popped one ahead. That hit the skates of Corey Cross. Went up and out of play, and play stopped once again. 4 2 Atlanta, 1 4 remaining in the Ferraro minor. And Grant uh, on the uh, back line right now. They'll be playing the point once again. The arrow's not going to the umbrella, which we've seen them do in some previous games. They're just going to play it straight. Try to get someone camped out in front of Derek Wilkinson. Screen him, let the shot go from the point. They can't work it down low. Freer Townsend and Arneal again. Miller trying to win the draw, but Freer wins it. For the arrows, back to McKee. Right side, center ice. McKee over to the near side for Kevin Grant. He'll blast it into Atlanta territory. Behind the net it goes. It's picked up by Freer. Cuts in behind. Looks in front. Can't center it, though. Now Freer, left side. Back to the line. Grant sliced one over. McKee looks for the shot. Now lets it fly. That sizzled wide. Freer picks it up. Base in the left circle. Freer. Back for Grant, that's chopped away. Can Julia clear it? No. Grant held it in, cross ice pass, picked up by Cross, shot to center, and Julia's got a breakaway, short-handed. Julia shoots, scores! Stan Julia, short-handed, 5-2 Atlanta. First short-handed goal of the year given up by the Arrows, and Stan Julia gives the Knights a three-goal lead. I don't want to sound like Danny 
Don Meredith and start singing, uh, turn out the lights, the party's over. But uh, the great defensive play in that end, down goes McKee, and it's the breakaway by the man who we opened up our telecast with. Julia goes to the top shelf once again as we take another look at the angle. Great concentration on Julia as he comes out, feathers it, fakes it, and then just lets it fly. Oh, Julia has got goal number nine on the year. Short-handed, first one the arrows have given up this year, and uh, uh, a bad one to give up. It started with Kevin Grant trying to trying to do a, a cross ice pass, which is usually ill-advised, and Terry Ruskowski not too happy on the bench. That picture says not a thousand, but ten thousand words. Here is Dave Tippett now, as the arrows still on the power play, but now trail by three, five to Atlanta. Now here's Dave Tippett, left wing boards, had it popped away by Miller, Tippett still got it, bring it into the zone, left wing, trying to center it, Tippett did, but it was worked away by Dubois, and the Knights able just to clear it down the ice. The Knights have played a very good hockey game tonight, so have the Arrows, but this third period has been a real struggle for the Arrows, and now trail it 5-2, to two. they've given up two goals in this third period. Here's Mike Maurice, fired it into the Atlanta zone, hit the side of the net, back to get it is Drew, er, Drew Bannister, it's popped back, Chitteroni trying to lob one down for Len Hackborn, he's bumped along the boards by Bannister, now Valamont for Tippett, left side, back, Valamont, wine, shoots the puck, it right on, and Wilkinson the save, now back right side, here is Lenny Hackborn, sets up, get it back, Valamont, back for Hackborn, right wing board, still working it, Chitteroni capped in front, Maurice centered it, that hit a leg, now back in behind, Chitteroni again, worked over by Alan Peterson, giving a real big check along the boards, run off the puck, and Campo able to clear it. Now Campbell comes out of the net for the Houston Arrows. He'll leave it for Carl Valamont, and away he'll skate. Valamont with five seconds left on the power play. Get it to Foy. Now picked up by Freer. Hits the line. Trying to circle back to the left point. Freer still getting set. Now the penalty over team to five aside. A one-time shot by Foy right on the rebound. Stopped again by Wilkinson. He's down and covering up. 15-25 to go in the third. We'll take time out. 5-2 Atlanta on the Arrows broadcast. When you are active, your body heat increases. 15 or 20 times, you become dehydrated. As soon as 30 minutes, you lose fluid. Up to two quarts of sweat per hour. But more than anything else, you get thirsty. 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 Gatorade Thirst Quencher. Drink it. No other beverage enters the bloodstream faster and rehydrates you better. Chug it. Nothing quenches a deep down body thirst better. Scientifically tested, athletically proven. Gatorade Thirst Quencher. It's gotta be Gatorade. For weeks, your Texas Ford dealers have been stocking up with new cars and trucks for the 95 sales drive. And they didn't bring just any trucks. They brought F-150s with 2.9% financing. 2.9% APR can lower your monthly payments over $50 a month. That's over $600 a year. Almost $2,500 over 48 months. But this offer is only for a limited time, so see your Texas Ford dealer. Atlanta leads it. Adam Gordon along with Barry Warner. 15.25 to go here in this third period. And, uh, you know, it's funny, Bear. I just I'm thinking back to this game in the first two periods, how well the Houston Arrows played. And I'm not taking anything away from Atlanta. So far, they have played not only 40 minutes, but they've also played the first 4.35 of this third period. The Arrows, uh, uh, not as good a second period as they did first, but I thought they played well. But so far, a real slow start to this third period. Very, very sluggish, making uh, mistakes by veterans that you would not expect. Face off in the circle to the left side of Derek Wilkinson, who, oh, by the way, Playing a pretty good hockey game. He faced 30 shots through the first two periods and stopped all but two of them. Here's Robinson now. Shoots the puck back into the Atlanta zone. Back is Corey Cross in behind the net, and he'll start the rush from left to right. 15-10 to go in the third. 5 to Atlanta. Here is a pass. Dubois getting out the center ice. It'll go into the Houston Arrows zone. Out of the net, Gamble. Sends one out to Mike Yo. Popped one to center for St. Cyr. He got it through Eglin, but it's at center. Now the Arrows have got it. Yo, nice pass up for St. Cyr. Hits the line. Quick shot right on that pass. Saved by Wilkinson. Fear. We're making St. Cyr to fear. Turning left side. Keep angle. Centered it. Here's the chance. The shot. Oh, Wilkinson got down with another beautiful stop. And Gretzky's off to the races. Brent Gretzky hits the line with Jeff Tom. Gretzky right in. Centered it. 
cleared it. That was blocked. Now the puck over skated by Eggleton. The arrows come the other way. Robinson lead pass for Yo. Here's Mike Yo. Late the ship for Yo Labor. We've got a fight along the far boards. I cannot see the numbers, but I think it might be St. Cyr. He's firing away at one of the Knights. And it might have been Alan Eggleton. And Eggleton was introduced to quite a few of St. Cyr right hands. And as we talked about at the top of the Stella Gap, those two used to each other in the Western League. They had their bouts, and they go here. St. Cyr did an excellent job with uh, two scoring opportunities down in front of Garrett Wilkinson, and this took out his frustration by nailing uh, Alan Eglin. Five and a half gone in the third and a 5-2 hockey game in favor of the Atlanta Knights. And we'll see if anything extra comes to this right now. St. Cyr and Eglin, five each, I would, I would think. Rob Bartell, our referee, with the crew there, the linesman tonight, Frank Prestigiovanni and Todd Anderson. So the Arrows, well, I'll tell you, you know, you look at the hockey games they've played, they had the six and 10, they did get three days really off, so I don't think stamina is a factor tonight, but at least they're gonna get the seven days off. Some coaches will say, ah, I don't want that, my team will get rusty with that big a layoff, but you know, the funny thing is at this point, at this point, it'll let some of the guys get healed. Let's, let's not forget there's some key guys out of the lineup. Clayton Young's got the bad shoulder. Curtis Hunt's got the bad shoulder. Murray Eves, I mean, one of the leaders at center, he's gotta return. I mean, those are three integral parts to this Aero hockey team that are out right now. And uh, Curtis Hunt, day-to-day uh, -day right now uh, with that bad shoulder. Graham Townsend trying to find out along with Stan Julie exactly what the call is here. Well, we got two minutes up to Jerry St. Cyr. Trying to pick up the call here. Okay, St. Cyr, an extra two for roughing. And the only reason I was kind of anxiously trying to hear it the only reason I wanted to hear it was that I, I wanted to make sure that it wasn't a two-minute instigator, which would mean St. Cyr would be gone with the automatic game misconduct, but it is not. It's just an extra two for roughing. And so he will remain in the hockey game, but he sits out now for seven minutes. Eglin just goes in five for fighting. So a power play for the Knights, who already lead it five to two. And a face-off now brought out to center ice just outside the Knights' zone. Arrows will bring out a line of Mike Maurice, Scott Arneal with Steve Jakes and Carl Valamont. Knights come out with Colin Miller, Stan Drulia, Chris Ferraro, Peter Ferraro. Come on, you got six guys out there. Who do you want? All right, get out of there, Chris. He's out there. They'll go to the bench. So now it'll be Peter Ferraro with Drulia. And Miller. Defensively, it'll be Derek Mayer and Eric Dubois. And a face-off between Mike Maurice and Peter Ferraro. Now the Arrows need someone to serve the extra two. That'll be Graham Townsend. 14.30 to go in the third. 5-2 Atlanta. Face-off at center. One by the Knights. Back into Atlanta territory. Here's Eric Dubois drifting back in behind the net. He'll lug the puck with him and start the rush from left to right. Dubois passed out to the left wing boards for Derek Mayer. Skating up the left side. Shoots the puck into the Arrow zone. Out of the net. Gamble. Leaves it for Valamont. He'll spank that along the boards. It'll go all the way down the ice. Good play by Carl Valamont. And down the ice it goes. 14-10 to go in the third. 5-2 Atlanta with a minute 38 left in the St. Cyr penalty. Here's Derek Mayer now. From left to right. He'll carry it up the gut. Shoot the pass ahead. Just missing Drew. It'll go down and behind the net. Picked up by Valamont. That's icing. And they'll bring the face off back down into the Atlanta zone. 13-55 to go in the third. Barry in a 5-2 hockey game. Knights lead it. Julia scored shorthanded. Why can't the Arrows answer? That's what they need to get back into this game. They have got to take every shift right now and make something of it. There's no time just to get themselves a, a little bit of exercise here. they got to go out. they got to throw the body and make smart passes. And that's what's hurt them here in the third period of play. So the faceoff will be to the circle to the left side of Derek Wilkinson. And Maurice will stay out with Arneal. Valamon shakes. No change for the Knights. They'll go with Julia Miller and Ferraro with this time Cross instead of Mayer. And Dubois. Top of the puck. Arrows. Oh, nope. Can't quite come up with that. Thought maybe Maurice had it, but the Knights have got it. Fireside. Stan Julia. He'll rumble up the gut and he'll carry it out to center ice. Julia turns a pass up to the right side for Corey Cross. Trying to move one through Arneal. They collide. 
picked up by the Knights, brought in left side, Colin Miller, gets it back to the line, here's Julia, feathered one down low for Miller, he's pushed up by Jakes, and here's Carl Valamont, he'll just turn and hoist that all the way down the ice. With a minute remaining in the St. Cyr penalty, the roughing minor, 13 and a half to go in the third, and a 5-2 hockey game. Here come the Knights now, right side, Peter Ferraro gave the puck away, Hackford turning, centering it, hit Ferraro, now Hackford again, right in the shot, and Wilkinson makes the save. If the puck isn't on its side there, Hackborn's got a good shot for a backhand goal there. So now they'll face it off to the left of Wilkinson. Looks like the puck was rolling, and uh, when, he had, when he, uh, Hackborn had problems, as Ferrer over skates it, when the shot is taken, it comes back. It looks like the puck is on the side. Yeah, see, it's rolling right there. He doesn't have a chance to really get the full wood on it, the full back extension of the blade. 44 seconds remaining in the Saints here minor. Hackborn will be out there with Tippett, Robinson, and Kevin Grant. Top of the puck, and the Arrows have got it. Tippett into the slot, turning right side, trying to get it through Miller. Tippett doing a fine job, trying to shake off the check, stays with it, turns it up ice, looking for Hackborn. Glenn Hackborn, left side, still with it, sends it back to the line. Oh, the Arrows just offside. That's a good call. We're right on the blue line here, and that's a really good call. Just came off sides, and they'll bring the face off the center. He doesn't think I'm right, but oh well, enjoy the game. <laughs> you, you ever go to Chippewa on your uh, little uh, treks to uh, no, the western part of Canada? No, Moose Jaw was about as hockey a hotbed as I ever got. And how cold did it get in that hotbed? Uh, you know, it's fun though. I mean, a lot of those communities, Moose Jaw, Swift Current, Saskatoon. I'll tell you what, Saskatoon has not only the best building in the western hockey, but it's an NHL building. It can be expandable to 18,000. I would liken it almost as nice as Milwaukee's building. No doubt about it. It's a beautiful complex in Saskatoon. And, and uh, although they don't fill it quite for junior games, they do a fine job. There's there. nothing wrong with your set. That is Gretzky. Not Wayne, but Brent Gretzky. That's right. Well, I'll tell you what, he's played a good game tonight. He has been under the skin of the arrows. He has been in there forechecking and digging and working hard. And uh, actually, he's created a little problems for the arrows tonight. Not that it really resulted in any scoring chances, but uh, just a, a good effort tonight from Brent Gretzky, seeing his first action against the arrows this year. Carries himself, uh, you know, like his brother. Here's a nice move, though, as he'll bring the puck in right side, pull up right point, cross ice pass. Campo's got it. Still four seconds left on the power play, but it looks like the arrows have killed this off now. St. Cyr hops out on the ice. Battle into the corner now as they're skate the skate. Chitteroni in there with Campo. Puck comes in behind the net. Arrows trying to pop it free. Here's Jeff Combs left side. We're going to get a penalty. It's going to be on the arrows. Puck centered behind for Gretzky. Right side. He had it deflected. Campo behind the net. Looks behind. Centered that again. And finally, Kevin Grant is there to stop it. And the arrows are going to be shorthanded again. We'll bring you the night power play when we return. 5 2 Atlanta back after this on the Houston Arrows Broadcasting Network. Where do you go when you want to have fun? I'm out on the course every chance I get. I play soccer and little league and basketball and football. I go fishing with my grandson. <laughs> but first, we go to Oshman Super Sports. <laughs> where I can try all the newest clubs right here in this store. This store is bigger than Lake Travis. One store has all the fun. Oshman Super Sports. Now welcome to the Cougars home. It's got hardwood floors and a free throw zone. The cat's alive, he's walking tall. Just watch us play with that little round ball. There's one thing we guarantee you see. Okay, fans, it's time to see Red play basketball. This season, we take on our Southwest Conference rivals and play some of the country's top-ranked national team. And come see Red! The University of Houston, Houston's University. It's a 5-2 hockey game here in the third period. Adam Gordon along with Barry Warner in a face-off in the circle to the left side of Troy Gamble. Here's Jerry St. Cyr right back in the box along with Kevin Grant. St. Cyr serving that five-minute major. Grant up on the board now, two minutes. And the Knights on the power play. Colin Miller taking the draw for the Knights. Drop of the puck, and the Knights have got it. Miller sends it back top of the slot. Eric Dubois. He'll fire.
Miller to the far corner. Colin Miller turning base in the left circle. Miller now works for the block. Pulls up along the hash marks left side. Miller now. Watched by O'Neill. Back to the line. Dubois fakes the shot. Now rolled it down. Puck given away in front. Arrows turn. And it's shot to center. Maurice trying to catch up to it. But Mayer rides into town to pick up the loose puck. He's watched by Mike Maurice of the Arrows. But here is Eric Dubois now. Dubois. Turn it up the right side for Stan Drulia. Big shorthanded goal. Weird in this third period. Can't move it around Arneal, though. Puck resting at center. And the Knights are back. Here's Derek Mayer in his own zone. Watched by Maurice. Pass to the far side. And the Knights have got a nice move by Dubois. Get it out to the center. Now down the left side. It's brought in by Arrow, but the Arrows turn it around. Arneal able to clear it. He stumbled it out to neutral. Back into the Arrow territory, though. Here's Carl Valamont. Minute down on the power play for the Atlanta Knights, but the Arrows have got it. And Valamont will shoot that all the way down. And Wilkinson oh, had it caught in his breeze between his breezers and his pads, and he's got it. And he will hold on a play stop. With 11-13 to go in the third, 5-2 Atlanta. And let's take a look at the, the interesting setup here in the Central Division, the Western Conference. This was a big game for the Arrows, trailing by only three points, but if things remain the same, the Knights will then go to 9-6-1 with 19 points. Before back of Milwaukee, Houston will slip to 6-10-2, remain at 14. Good news is, hey, this is only the, what, 18th game for the Arrows, and uh, still lots of hockey to be played, and I'm sure a lot of changes uh, uh, in the works and we, like we talked about injury guys will be coming back as well so you know don't let that six nine and two fool you the arrows will uh, will be there when the bell tolls but unfortunately right now they look like they're going to pick up their fourth loss of the year unless they can get three goals in the next 11 minutes here's chris ferraro shoulder by foy they go at it some more ferraro trying to win that battle he's got the puck sent it back Left point, Drew Bannister, 48 on the power play. And now we're going to get another penalty, and it's going to be on the Arrows. So once again, the same discipline problems that the Arrows had in the second game in San Diego, and now they're starting to take some penalties here. And Rob Martell is going to call a slashing minor on one of the Arrows, and they're going to be two men down for 41 seconds. Not the way that you overcome a three-goal deficit. Not by any stretch of the imagination. And uh, Terry Ruskowski, uh, who let the guys have it in the locker room in San Diego, may be resurrecting that speech once again. 5-2, Atlanta leads it, and they're going to be two men up now. And it didn't take them long the last time they had a five-on-three. They got that five-on-three goal from Chris Ferraro. So now we'll go with a line of... Gretzky and Drulia and Peter Ferraro. Chris Ferraro at the right point with Drew Bannister. Face off to the right of Campbell. Freer the only forward. Arrows win the draw and they shoot it down the ice. So that helps. 35 seconds remaining in the two-man advantage for the Atlanta Knights. Back in behind their net. Here's Drew Bannister. Hands the puck to the near side. Brent Gretzky skates up ice. At center. Gretzky now weaving through traffic. Had to go back as he was forechecked by Freer and he lobs a pass to an open wing. Here's Bannister now circling back to his own blue line. Bannister to the far side. Get it to Chris Ferraro. His cross ice pass picked up by Gretzky. Overskated the puck. Back is Freer now for the arrows. Tossed it out in front and Valamont will just chip that down the ice. So that'll do it for the two-man advantage and now a minute 19 remaining in the penalty to Chris Foy. 5-2 Atlanta. 10 minutes, 9 seconds to go. Here's Julia right he tried to get the shot away, but he was offside, so we're going to get a whistle. We're going to get a penalty on the Knights. That's what we're going to get. It's going to be an interference call on Brent Gretzky, so that'll do it for the Knight power play, and two minutes up to Gretzky. In a minute 16, the Arrows will get a power play. Center of the screen, and Gretzky knows exactly uh, he is the guilty party there. Right from uh, the backside uh, goes down Robinson. Gretzky pulls him down, and he uh, just didn't even put up a fight, skated right over and says, I'll take my two. So we'll go four on four, minute 16, then the Arrows will get 41 seconds, or excuse me, 44 seconds of the power play. He carries himself skating-wise with a whipping style of his brother. He's got the profile, just doesn't have the ability to go along with an extra nine. Is his brother a good player? Uh, no, 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 not a good player, a great player, the magnificent one, Wayne Gretzky. Face off center ice. I think I've heard that name. Uh, once or twice. Here's Kevin Grant now back in his own zone. He'll move it to the line. Good play to center ice. Grant now down the left side. Brings the puck in. Grant still with the top of the slot. Arrows move it. Grant right side centered it. That was tipped away. Arneal may have gotten a piece of that. Now 
Alex Cittarone trying to find Arneal. But it's picked up by Derek Mayer as he drifts in behind his net. He'll start the rush from left to right. Stan Drulia, center ice for the Knights. We're four on four for another 50 seconds. Drulia shoots the puck into the arrow zone. Back to get it is Brian McKee. He'll pick up the puck, weave it out to the near side for Arneal. Arneal trying to pop it through Bannister, but now it is McKee. He's trying to advance the puck. One hand pass over to Arneal. Barreling in, but Strom's got him. And now the puck punched to center ice. And here's a chance for Campo. Great play as he picks up the puck, trying to get it through Valamont. Won't do it as Valamont stands him up there. Now Bannister, right point, long shot, stick save by Campbell. Campo again. He's bounced into the boards by Cittarone of the Arrows. Here's Brian McKee now. Carries the puck to the near side. He'll roll it up the boards for Mario Cittarone at center. He'll bring the puck in across the line. His pass taken back by Christian Campo. Nine minutes to go here in the third. Five to Atlanta now. The Arrows tip it. The drive. And a great glove save by Wilkinson. He'll hold on. So the Arrows now have 44 seconds of the penalty remaining to Brent Gretzky. Five to Atlanta. 8.50 to go in the third. I thought that was going to be the one shot to turn things around. Campo just loses the puck. And a great blast off the stick of the veteran Dave Tippett. But the quick left hand of Wilkinson. Campo, hey, pulls one of my moves right there. Just loses the puck off the heel. And Wilkinson just comes right out and just snatches that puck up in the air for the faceoff. Hackborn, Tippett, and Townsend with Alamont. Robinson. Arrows on the power play. Drop of the puck. Here's Tippett. Back for Valamont. Top of the slot. Robinson left side. Give it to Tippett. Left wing boards at the hash marks. Top of the near circle now. Tippett sends one right in. Wilkinson turned that away. Now Hackboard again trying to get it in there, but it's finally popped by the Knights down the ice with 8.35 to go here in the third in a 5-2 hockey game. 26 seconds remaining in this arrow power play. Valamont top of the puck up. Now Stan Drulia, who already got a short hand goal, trying to make the move right side. Drulia doing a fine job. Just sends it back to his own zone for Miller. Now it is Dubois, and he'll just shoot it down the ice. And that'll do it just about for the arrow power play. It's down to eight seconds. Puck back in behind Troy Gamble. Here comes Carl Valamont now from right to left. Valamont leaving it center right. Pass to Len Hackworth. Cross the line. Takes off the check. Sends it right in. Towns and turns. Here's the chance. The shot. Tip it. Missed the net. He hit the side of the net. Oh, my. Now here's Robinson trying to roll it down. Tip it at all day. And they just fired it wide. Now it's Townsend. He's scraped into the boards by Ferraro. Townsend trying to work it free. It's batted out to the line, not out. And the power play long over now. Teams at five aside. Robinson centered it. Tippett fan on the puck. Well, you called it Buzzard's luck for Chitteroni earlier, and I think Tippett may have caught something there. A couple of really good chances for Dave Tippett, but just couldn't quite get the lumber on it. Now the puck is Kyle Valamont in behind his net, and away he will skate. Pass in skates. It's fished out of there by Boy, but it's given away to Christian Campo. 7.23 to go here in the third period. The Arrows trail by three. Atlanta with it now. A backhand one to center ice, intercepted by Foy of the Arrows. He'll bring it ahead. Foy trying to work it through Jeff Palm down the right side. Foy pushed in there by Straub. Now in there, it's Mike Yo trying to work it free. It's muscled along the boards. It came out in front, but there was Jeff Palms, and he'll skate the center. Palms shoots the puck into the arrow zone. Now it is picked up by Kevin Grant for the arrows. Bumped off the puck, picked up by Foy. He fell. Now it's Cittarone. He'll push the puck in. Cittarone right side, trying to move it in behind that. He centered it, but nobody there for the arrow. Here's Christian Campo now. Right wing board, shoots the puck in. And the Knights make some changes. Grant sends one out to center ice. Maurice gives it to Cittarone across the line. Checked by Corey Cross. Puck fished off to the near side. Chris, or, uh, Chris Ferraro now and Maurice go at it in behind the Atlanta net. Yves Arrow trying to clear. It's knocked away by Arneal. Now it's center ice. Here's Chris Ferraro. He's watched by Carl Valamont. Now back is Dubois. Hit it over to the left side cross. Back to Dubois in his own zone with 6-10 to play here in this third period. Atlanta leading 5-2. Valamont goes back in behind the net. He'll start the rush from right to left. Carl Valamont to the near boards. Miss Freer with a pass. Here's Gretzky now. Gretzky right side. Center the pass. Here's the one in front. And there was Gamble. A sliding stacking pad save. And the arrows come to center. Here comes Freer pounding into the zone. Freer pulls up left point. Freer getting set. Centered the pass. Gretzky broke that up. Gretzky brings it ahead. Give it to Colin Miller. He overskates the puck. Now near side McKee. Sends one out for Arneal across the line. Three on three. Arneal works it in. McKee wide shoots. And he risked it wide of the net. Now to the left side. Kevin Grant. 
Lobbed it down for Townsend. He muscles in there with Dubois. Now fished out. Townsend, far side. Base of the right circle. Cuts in. Wide. Shoots. Hit the side of the net. He might have even cranked that off the base of the far post. Now it is again controlled by the arrows. Grant right point. That hit a leg. Cuts to the near side. Gretzky chopped it to the line. And it's out to center ice. 5.08 to go here in the third. 5-2 Atlanta. Here come the arrows, though. Into the zone. Working hard along the fireboards. It's Grant. Trying to feather it in behind. It's picked up by Brian Straub of the Knights. Long lead pass out to center ice. Miller able to redirect it. And the Knights make some changes. At center, here's Scott Arneal. He shot it right to Colin Miller, and he'll just dump it back into the arrow zone. Out of the net, Troy Gamble. Here's Brian McKee. He'll pick up the puck in behind his net. McKee, long lead pass. Misses Mario Cittaroni. It goes into the night zone. Out of the net. It was Wilkinson. He waved off the icing call. Didn't know it was going to be icing. Now tip it near side. Trying to find Cittaroni. He's pumped by Eglin. And now Eglin fires back with a punch to Cittaroni, and that's going to draw a penalty. Eglin wanting it. Mario Cittaroni. And Mario says, I'm going to have no part of it. And play is whistled down. 4.24 to go in the third. We'll take time out. It's the Knights 5 and the Arrows 2 back after this on the Arrows Broadcasting Network. An ordinary beer can. Barely alive. Gentlemen, we can rebuild it. We have the technology. We have the capability to make the world's first bionic can. Coors Light will be that can. Better than it was before. Taller. Thinner. Silver. Next on the Coors Light Channel. Santa, I've uh, had another job offer. How can we change your mind? Introducing new popcorn fish. Tasty bite-sized fillets of Long John Silver's fish, just $1.99. Uh, maybe if you gave me your popcorn fish. Keep in touch, kid. <laughs> It's the most exciting game plan in town. If you're a fantasy football player or just love the sport, be sure to catch Playoff Fantasy Football Weekly with veteran analyst Norm Hitzkus and Pro Football Weekly's Rick Korch. Thursdays at 11 on HSE. 5-2 Atlanta leads it quickly. Let's look at the Southwest uh, Southwest Division of the Western Conference. And, you know, this is maybe the best race in, in the IHL. Phoenix and Denver going at it. Phoenix uh, at 11-5. Denver at 10-3. Las Vegas 10-8. But there are the Soviet Wings still without a point, without a win. And, you know, the Soviet Wings you know, boasted about a, a pretty good hockey team. But I got to tell you, Barry, their struggles continue as they have yet to win a game. And listen to these numbers. The Soviet Wings, as we said, 0-7 without a win. Only 14 goals in seven games. That's easy math. Two goals a game. 41 goals allowed. That is nearly seven a game. And they're here on December 18th. Wilkinson, season high, 37 saves for the Tampa Bay Lightning property. Here's Carl Valamont now. It's actually closer to six goals a game, but a lot of the numbers I've seen, a lot of seven-nothing losses they've had this year. Here is Mario Cittaroni. They won't be here until December, the Soviet Wings. Pass at center ice. Here is Dave Tippett trying to bring the puck ahead. It's turned around by Peter Ferraro and shot back into the arrow zone. We're under four minutes to go in this one in a 5-2 hockey game. Here's Carl Valamont, left side now. He'll hit the line for the arrows into the Atlanta zone. Arrows on the power play. The key long shot, top of the slot. And I think Wilkinson got a piece of that. Here's Mario Cittaroni now, right side, right wing boards, getting set back to the line. Carl Valamont, top of the circle, Cittaroni. Rolled it for Hackboard. Back to the line, Valamont, his pass through the key, went to the near corner, and it's picked up by Stan Julia. He'll just shoot it down the ice. Arrows 1-7 and seven on power play opportunities tonight. Back go the arrows, Carl Valamont. He's back in behind the net. And he'll turn it up ice. Here's the puck now up the fire boards. Oh, puck given away. Yeah, we lost it. Here's a chance. Short-handed the shot. Gamble the save. Rebound kick in there, and Gamble got a piece of that one as well. coming to the bench. I don't see the hand up. Lions, so they've got an extra attacker up. They're trying to catch him with an extra attacker as the arrow's down by three. I've never seen this with three minutes to go and down by three. So Campbell comes to the bench. Extra attacker. Foy near side. Get it to Valamon. It comes out to center ice. Now back is Graham Townsend with the empty net and 249 to go. So the arrows have a six on four power play. Here is Townsend. Shoots the puck and Wilkinson knocked it down. Freer to the near corner. Trying to muscle it through Mayer. Now Drew Julia trying to get it out of there. Arneal, base in the left circle. Here is Scott Arneal. Cuts it back, top of the slot. It's a shot up high. Missed. Here's a chance. Shot wide again as either Fear or Arneal got that one away. And it's by 
Riley had shot all the way down the ice, but the arrow's Chris Ford's got to hustle. He goes to the empty net. Now Foy in behind his own net. 2.20 to go. Foy's pass to Townsend. Chipped it ahead. Tippett lost the handle. Knight's turn, and they'll shoot it back to center. Graham Townsend blasted into Atlanta territory. Penalty now over team to five aside. Here is Tippett trying to work it through Brian Straub. Tippett trying to chip the puck. Gets worked away by Straub. He'll bank it out to center. So Gamble the bench two minutes to go in the third and a 5-2 hockey and we'll get an icing call on the Atlanta Knights play whistle down with 155 to go here in this third period and a face-off back in the night zone we'll take time out 5-2 nights on the arrows broadcasting network Hi, everybody. Kevin Eschenfelder in the clubhouse with the Southwest Airlines Sports Break. Show you what's happening around the NBA tonight. We go to the Alamo Dome, where the Spurs playing host Ron to Harper, the Chicago yeah. Bulls, the newest of the Bulls, Ron Harper, with a driving layup. But Mr. Robinson, that's his house, and he is playing like it tonight. Avery Johnson with the steal. Watch Pippen play the D with Sean Elliott. Nice hustle with the dunk. Then Robinson with the jumper. Have. Phil Winnington doesn't stand a chance. And the foul and the layup. Bill Winnington still doesn't have a chance. One more time dunk over Bill Winnington. Right now, just starting out in the fourth quarter of play. 69 all. Harper 17. Robinson with 22 points. A couple of other games to tell you about tonight. Boston beats Seattle by 27 points. Philadelphia knocks off Miami 109 to 96 and Daryl Johnson was fired today as the head coach of the Baylor Bears only 10 days before the start of their season. I'm Kevin Eschenfelder. We'll see you later. 5-2 the score here. Atlanta leading and good crowd tonight although most of them have filed out 11,293 uh, and enjoyed a very good hockey game although this third period is one that they probably like to forget and it's too bad because you always you always remember the thing that happened last in this third period is something you'd like to forget but let's not forget Troy Gamble and the job he's done he's back on the bench that those first two periods he was outstanding and he was good here he would get an exceptional job uh, a couple of bad plays by his teammates uh, you know both on the ice and up upstairs in the between their ears, uh, haven't helped things tonight, but the Arrows getting more shots on goal than they've had all season. All right, Arrows teetering the blue line. McKee gave it to St. Cyr. Quick shot, whip wide of the net. Now Valamont, can he hold it in? No, he cannot. It's back to center. So the Arrows still the six on five extra attacker with Gamble to the bench, and that came at the three minutes left. Now we're going to get a whistle and an icing call on the arrow, so that will mean the return of Troy Gamble for sure. You talk about return. A lot of these 11,000 fans, they'll return to the Summit again. They saw exciting hockey. They were entertained. The pricing on it is terrific. And they saw a heck of a hockey game for two periods in around eight minutes. Oh, no, absolutely. Two periods of outstanding hockey. But let us uh, also not forget about the Atlanta Knights. Defending Turner Cup champions, they're 8-6-1, and one, just five points back at the top spot, owned by the Milwaukee Admirals. They showed me a lot tonight. They showed me why they are champions. They're without Jason Ruff. They're shorthanded. They've got some injuries. Uh, the Plumber doesn't doesn't play tonight. Uh, they're on this road trip. They're down in someone else's building, and they come back. Quick and shot off the faceoff. Gamble the glove save, and hold on. 1.35 left. Arrow's next home game we talked about. It's an HSE contest. It'll be November 27th, and that'll be right here at the Summit. And uh, that'll be a game that we'll carry here on HSE. It's a 4 o'clock start. They've got 6 o'clock up on the board, but it's a 4 o'clock start. We'll have it all for you right here on HSE and the Arrow's Broadcasting Network. It's another shot found its way to Gamble. Now back in the Arrow zone is up by Valamont, shot to center, Maurice looked, looked good ahead, here's Gamble to the bench, as St. Cyr cuts in, but it was worked away by Wilkinson, and we're going to get a penalty. You know, as much fighting as Jerry St. Cyr has done tonight, I've seen him handle the puck better than we've seen him in the past. Now St. Cyr trying to stir up some more interest. He had a pretty good run with Alan Eglund earlier. Corey Cross will go to the penalty box. So now the arrows, this is one of those situations where it's sort of a good news, bad news, because they'll keep gambling to the bench. Good news is now they're going to have actually a two-man advantage with the extra attacker. They'll be six on four. The bad news is when you are when you're on the power play, you get the team shorthanded, you shoot the puck down at will, and if they miss that, so what? It's not icing. So they, they can just turn and try and get it out of there, and there's more of a likelihood they can try and find that open net. But when you trail by three, it's all kind of moot anyway. You've seen three goals scored in 121 during your career? Yes, I have, but not, not in this particular time frame. I've seen three goals in 30 seconds. But uh, 
not at this juncture of a hockey game. Face off in the circle to the left of Derek Wilkinson. Maurice will take the draw against Brent Gretzky. Maurice, St. Cyr, Arneal, Yo, Balamont, McKee. And they start a little earlier. And St. Cyr, what a feisty game he has had. And now he's jousting with Eve Zero a little bit. And they continue to spar some more. And we're going to get a whistle. And the referee, Rob Martell, says, hey, if you can't play nice, we're going to take you off the playground. And if i got to stop this car one more time, you can fill in the blanks. Arrows have to fill in a blank here. They've been blank four times now as far as wins go. They need to get her going. They'll have a week off before they have another shot at it. Here's a puck now. Carl Valamont lobbed it down, pounds him into the slot. Quick shot, and again the arrows find the pipe. Heard that probably all the way up here. Here is Maurice now. Fireside with a minute five on the hockey game, and for that matter, the, the power. As it comes out in front of stuff shot block Wilkinson, another chance. That way as Yo tried to muscle it in there. Now St. Cyr trying to go upstairs. It comes to the right point for Brian McKee. Lobbed it to the right side for Maurice. Getting set. Now left point, Carl Valamont wide. Shoots. That was batted in there. And now some more pushing and shoving. And we've got Jerry St. Cyr again. Well, we've called his name quite a bit, but uh, he has been in there now mucking it up with uh, Drew Bannister, and we're going to get a cross-check. I know what Sincere is trying to do. The foreman's undecided who he's going to fight next. He's trying to audition. He knows that big money is out there. So now Sincere, boy, he just, he just doesn't want to, just doesn't want to go to the penalty box. He's got some unfinished business. They trying to separate him and get him off the ice. I think he's trying to uh, work for a new theme song. Macho, macho man. So here's a look at it now. As St. Cyr in there grinding with Bannister there. They both go down, but St. Cyr's, I think, going to get that original penalty. They might get four here. He's off. 46 seconds to go in this one. And the arrows now. Slip to 6, 10, and 2, remain at 14 points. And a lot of work to do. St. Cyr on his way to the dressing room. And a face off in the circle to the left side of Derek Wilkins. I think we'll see some uh, new faces on the 27th, maybe some old faces in the sense of an Eves or a, uh, a Clayton Young back for the arrows, Curtis Hunt, and possibly uh, Peter Deneen will be able to work some magic and get some uh, other faces in here. The arrows look like they tired in the third period of play. Yeah, they they're definitely look like they're a step slower in this third period. I mean, the jump that we saw in the first, it just kind of slowly went down each period, and I'm not saying it was a bad second. I thought they played a good second period, but this third period, uh, they've had some chances, but boy, Atlanta has just done a good job not giving them a, a lot in front. Atlanta doesn't make a a lot of mistakes and when, when they do make them you got to jump on them and the arrows haven't had that chance tonight and as you said many times buzzard luck has been there tonight so here's a giveaway and eves a is going to go down on gamble here's a row right in on goal wait shoot stop and now it comes back out in front it's turned around by towns with half a minute to go in this one here's graham townsend right side for maurice across the line the fire boards open over skated by mckee and it's worked out to the right wing boards for drew bannister get it out the center 17 seconds to go in this one. 5-2 Atlanta. Here's Gamble now out of the net. And it over to Carl Valamont. He'll turn it from right to left. Pass to the near side for Graham Townsend. He will send it up to center for Maurice. Tip pass for Jakes. He overstates it. Now Valamont with two seconds left. And the buzzer will sound. And the Atlanta Knights have defeated the Houston Arrows by a score of 5-2. So the Knights now are at 9-6-1 with 19 points. Arrows go down to 6-10-2. Remain with 14 points. Derek Wilkinson, an outstanding hockey game. And uh, for the Arrows, Troy Gamble, uh, not a lot of help. Although, you know, you look at the, the shots that the Arrows had, they had a lot of shots on Wilkinson, but they also gave up a, a pretty good amount to the uh, to the Atlanta Knights. So the Knights win it by a score of 5-2. to two. And let's take a look at the Southwest Airlines play of the game. It's brought to you by uh, 
And it's brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Just plain smart. And this was the real backbreaker for the arrow. Stan Drulia, shorthanded. And what a great angle there. Just you look at Gamble trying to get the shoulder up. He gives him just a sliver of the net. And Drulia says, oh, that's all I need. And he pops it in there. And that is your Southwest Airlines play of the game. Well, when we return, we'll wrap things up next. The final score tonight from the Summit in Houston, the Atlanta Knights 5 and the Houston Arrows 2. We're back after this on the Arrows Broadcasting Network. Hi, I'm Larry Forehand. At Casa Olay, you'll taste the delicious difference in our food from the very first bite. Everything at Casa Olay is prepared fresh at each location. Try our tasty chili and queso made with 100% real American cheese, beans and rice prepared fresh daily, and what can I say about our crisp chips and hot sauces? You guessed it, made fresh every day. Now that's a fabulous start to a great meal. So the next time you crave great Mexican food, taste the difference. Casa Olay, fresh today. Here's a test. See if you can pick out the kids with learning disabilities. Any luck? Try again. Actually, it's a trick question because you can't tell by looking. But three out of every ten children do have some form of learning disability. Your Texas cable television operator and the Learning Disabilities Association of Texas are partners in a campaign to build awareness so that these children may be identified and receive the help they need. Find out what you can do. Contact the Learning Disabilities Association of Texas. 1-800-604-7500. West Airlines. Wake up and smell the coffee. And people are friendlier than ever. Just make reservations at least a day in advance and buy your round trip ticket at Southwest's regular low unrestricted fare and a friend flies with you free anywhere we fly. Yo, Dad, what do you think? Friends fly free on Southwest, the low fare airline. You want the NBA? We got it. With a 12 game nothing but action plan, call 214 988 0117. Today's Houston Arrows broadcast has been brought to you in part by Southwest Airlines. Flying the low fare airline is just plain smart. By Columbia HCA Healthcare Corporation, a new commitment to healthcare together. And by Gatorade Thirst Quencher. When you're thirsty, it's got to be Gatorade. inside the summit Houston Texas Adam Gordon along with Barry Warner a 5-2 hockey game the Atlanta Knights defeat the Houston Arrows and you know we talked about the fact that we had uh, 11,293 people here and they were really entertained to a good hockey game I know the third period was not a good one at all for the Arrows but uh, overall it was still an outstanding game and those first two periods just stick in my mind I mean end to end action a lot of physical play playoff hockey the first two periods but uh, the two goals Julia's the one being the crusher, the shorthanded goal where uh, he just took advantage of a misplay by the arrows, just was the backbreaker, and it goes down as uh, the fifth straight loss at home, 5 to the final. All right, let's take a look at the scoring summary brought to you by Columbia HCA, Healthcare Corporation, and we go back and uh, you look at uh, at 128 of the third period, Eve Zero from Brent Gretzky and Brian Straub, and that made it, uh, that made it uh, a 4-2 hockey game. And then Stan Drulia. Oh, man, big, big shorthanded goal. It was our Southwest Airlines play of the game. Up from Corey Cross. Went over the left shoulder of Troy Gamble. And at 3.06, it was 5-2. So that is your Columbia HCA scoring summary. It's 5-2, the final tonight. The Atlanta Knights over the Houston Arrows. And we'll have some final thoughts after this on the Arrows Broadcasting Network.